What sparks innovation? Is it thinking bigger or smaller? Does it strike fast or slow? Is it a flight of fancy or a stroke of genius? Innovation is everywhere on desktops, in pockets, on wrists, in us. Innovation answers big questions, finds inspiration anywhere. It connects great minds, imagines the impossible, and propels us forward. At Keysight, innovation inspires us, fuels us, to redefine precision in measurement, to surface insights, to remove barriers, so the next stroke of genius is yours. We are Keysight. We accelerate innovation. И поэтому, я думаю, вы видели по программе, что по количеству докладов одна из самых больших секций. So, good morning, dear participants. Uh, we start our second section. Its name is Microwave Technologies and Telecommunication. Uh, it's uh, the 22nd uh, time when we have this Mm, this section. Uh, also, uh, I think you know that uh, our section is uh, one of the biggest on this conference. Uh, we have uh, 20, 20 reports. Yes. Как я уже сказала, направление по телекоммуникациям, электроника и СВЧ очень разнообразны. И сегодня мы сможем убедиться, вы нам расскажете о выбранном пути вот в этой большой тематике, о своих исследованиях, о своих результатах. Я думаю, что нам предстоит интересная работа в течение дня. Вот, желаю всем успехов. Ну, как-то uh, говорится, к черту. <laughs> Должны сказать. Окей, окей. So, you know that our section is very different. Uh, we hope that today we will listen um, very interesting, very different reports from you. And uh, you will tell us about your way, your way in this section, microwave technologies and telecommunication. And uh, of course, uh, we wish you good luck. Thank you, yes? Mm -hmm. Start. The first report is uh, it will be distance report yes uh, good morning dear participants of the conference dear chairman my name is georgi kim i represent tomsk state university of control systems and radioelectronics let me introduce uh, to your attention a paper on the topic ultra short pulse uh, decomposition in hybrid protection devices based on the cascade connected uh, model filter and meandering with broadside coupling uh, one of the electronic uh, electromagnetic compatibility tasks is uh, to protect against conductive emissions that penetrate inside the equipment directly along the conductors. One of the greatest harm can be caused by a powerful ultra, uh, ultra short pulse uh, because of the wide spectrum, short rise time and high power. Since standard techniques uh, suffer from low power and speed, they are not always able to provide adequate protection against ultra-short pulses. 
uh, devices based on uh, printed structures are widely studied for protection uh, against electromagnetic interference and uh, signal filtering in the frequency band. Uh, Nosworthy is the approach based on the technology of model decomposition in coupled lines and uh, the related approach for meander lines. However, the attenuation of the ultra short uh, pulse uh, in each of these devices is small in comparison with other protection devices. Therefore, to increase the efficiency of protection, it is uh, advisable to use them together. Um, purpose of this work is to perform the ultra short uh, pulse decomposition in hybrid protection devices based on the cascade connected uh, model filter and meander line with broadside coupling. Uh, to achieve this goal, uh, we need to solve the problems presented on this slide. Um, uh, the devices under study is cascade connected tree conductor model filter and a meander line turn with the broadside coupling with asymmetric cross section. After that, uh, it is necessary to increase the number of model filter conductors to four and to estimate additional attenuation. As an uh, excitation pulse, we choose a trapezoidal uh, pulse with an electromotive force of one volt. Uh, with the duration of the flat top of 100 picoseconds and the rise and fall times of 50 uh, picoseconds each. Uh, firstly, we analyzed how the changes in space between the conductors and the relative uh, permittivity of the substrate of the three conductor model filter influence the maximum amplitude at the end of the line. A similar analysis was performed in the four conductor model filter and in the turn of the underline with broadside coupling. Uh, all quasi-static simulation was performed in the Tolgat software. Uh, after analyzing the above dependencies, uh, a, a heuristic uh, search for the optimal parameters of structures was carried out uh, according uh, to the criterion uh, of providing conditions of ultra short pulse decomposition. Uh, in the three conductor model filters, there are three modes, each with its own per unit length delay. In the four conductor model filter, there are four modes, and in the turn of the meander line, even an odd modes and the uh, and, and uh, additional pulse propagate. Moreover, in the meander line, there is a near end cross talk pulse uh, that comes to the meander line out without a delay. Uh, the, uh, those in structure one and ultra short, uh, short pulse can be decomposed into 12 pulses and in structure two into 16 pulses. Uh, knowing the expressions that determine the delays of each pulse at the end of structure one, it is possible to ensure by fulfilling a number of simple conditions where T summary is the total ultra short pulse duration. Decomposition conditions for structure two are similar, uh, considering that four modes propagate in it with corresponding delays in structure two. Uh, conditions from first to fourth must be also satisfied, as well as the following condition number five. As a result of this research, we can see that the ultra short pulse at the end of structure one is uh, represented by a sequence of 12 main, main pulses with an amplitude not exceeding 52 millivolts and uh, at the end of structure two of uh, 16 main pulses with an amplitude less than 42 millivolts. Besides the output waveform of both structures contains pulses caused by reflections. Thus, uh, the ultra short pulse attenuation relative to half of electromotive force in uh, structure one was 10.6 times and in structure two, uh, 11.92 times. Uh, in conclusion, we can say that the goal of this research has been achieved and uh, all the tasks have been completed in full. Uh, thank you for your attention. If you have any questions, I will be glad to answer it. Uh, the cross sections of uh, model filter show this slide. slide. Uh, how did you define this topology? For example, uh, uh, figure B, uh, why is this uh, four uh, conductors, not five or three? Uh, uh, we, decided we decided to... to uh, uh, uh,
just for um, uh, just to know uh, how uh, is, is this possible, possible to uh, decompose ultra short holes, holes in, uh, in uh, these structures, structures uh, uh, with, with uh, mm, uh, uh, cascade connected, connected uh, 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 Mian -Mian line, line in, uh, in, in the end, end of uh, these uh, model filters. filters. So, so uh, this, this uh, was determined, uh, determined in the uh, uh, goal of uh, research. research. Uh, am I uh, right to understand that uh, it's not your topology, but uh, this topology was proposed uh, before you? Uh, not, not exactly, exactly uh, uh, but... but uh, 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 I, I actually, actually, this, this topology is uh, proposed by me, me but uh, 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 the uh, 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 number, number of conductors, conductors was uh, uh, chosen uh, uh, as, as I can, can say uh, to uh, just, just research, research how, how the three conductor, conductor and four conductor, conductor works. works. Uh, we, we can, can uh, in, in future, future research, research uh, more conductors, conductors and more model filters, but, but uh, in uh, this uh, paper, uh, we, decided we decided to uh, stand, stand on, on the three, three and four and numbers. numbers. Okay, thank you. One more question. Uh, <coughs> Uh, we saw that uh, you have a lot, uh, a huge number of possibilities. Can you please uh, say uh, to us which uh, optimizing algorithm did you use to uh, get the final uh, structure, uh, which get you the results? So, what's the algorithm uh, did you use to get the final uh, structure? Uh, thank, thank you for your uh, uh, question. question. Uh, uh, for for um, um, uh, final, final parameters, parameters of the structures, structures uh, we, we use, use a genetic, genetic algorithm, algorithm that uh, include in, in all that software and, and uh, a realistic search uh, for uh, better, better results. Okay, thank you. Do I have more questions? No? Okay. Thank you, thank you for your report. Okay. Goodbye. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. We next uh, Alexander Dimakov. Hello, dear participants and organizers of the conference. My name is Alexander Dimakov. I am an assistant at Tomsk State University of Control Systems and Radio Electronics. And the topic of my report is measurement of microcontroller radiated emission at different operation modes. Um, an increase in the speed and density of modern integrated circuit leads to an increase in the uh, wear radiated emission. Uh, so evaluation of services of radiated emissions of integrated circuits is a very difficult task because emission depends on different uh, factors, but dependence of integrated circuits of radiated emission on the operating modes uh, of the internal units has not been sufficiently studied. And the aim of this work is to study the radiated emissions of microcontroller with its various software configurations at different block frequencies a using a term cell. Measurement of the radiated emissions are carried out by placing the microcontroller under test on a measuring printed circuit board located in the aperture of the temp cell. The test receiver measures uh, the voltage at the temp cell output, which is formed by induced currents from the microcontroller to the central conductor of the cell. Uh, this slide shows the assembled test setup. And first of all, we performed the measurement of emissions by multiplying the microcontroller clock frequency using high speed internal oscillator clock. From the obtained result, it can be seen that without frequency multiplication, emissions is observed with a maximum level of 20 decibels. Doubling the clock frequency produces emissions at higher uh, harmonics up to uh, 400 megahertz. And the maximum value of emission is observed for PLL equal 10 and for and a frequency of 240 megahertz. Uh, then using an external oscillator clock, uh, a similar voltage dependence is observed. However, there is a pronounced increase in emissions in the range from 
of 400 to 700 megahertz to a level of 21 decibels. Uh, emissions uh, caused by arithmetic logic unit operation were measured using uh, two developed test tasks. It can be seen that emissions are observed in the range of from 0.5 to 4 megahertz with a maximum level of 18 decibels. When clock frequency increases to 18 megahertz, there is an expansion of emission spectrum up to 200 mega, uh, 20 megahertz cost of this unit operation. Uh, when the analog to digital converter unit operates and a microcontroller clock frequency equal to 8 megahertz, emissions are concentrated uh, in the range up to 8 megahertz with an amplitude of 21 decibels and an increase in the clock frequency up to uh, 18 megahertz leads to an expansion of emission spectrum caused by operation of this unit. Uh, this slide shows what the emissions from the digital to analog converter units are concentrated in the range for, of from 0 0.5 to 6 megahertz with a magnitude of 18 mega decibels. And uh, as can be seen uh, in, from these dependencies, uh, uh, increasing in increasing of clock frequency of microcontroller uh, leads to uh, uh, expansion of emission spectrum uh, of uh, emission spectrum. Uh, uh, the results of measuring the radiated emissions from microcontroller. Uh, in the TEM cell are presented in considering its various software configurations. And uh, that is all. Thank you for your attention. Uh, Alexander, at uh, any uh, emission spectra, I can see a periodic structure. Uh, how you can explain it? Um, uh, one second, please. Uh, the periodic character of emission spectrum uh, depends on uh, clock frequency of microcontroller, and uh, there are many harmonics, harmonics, uh, harmonics in, the, in this spectrum. Uh, oh, no, not harmonic, but uh, noise. Uh, periodic structure. Uh, this noise depends, uh, this noise depends, depends on. Uh, 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 what measurement equipment equipments uh, you used? Uh, yeah, we, we used uh, a tensile as, as uh, uh, general, general. Uh, device, device for measurement of radiation emissions. Uh, one uh, uh, input of tensile connects, connects to much uh, more and. and uh, uh, Second, and you say that uh, periodic structure on spectra is uh, because of spectra analyzer uh, did it. I, am I right? Yes. Yes. Uh, maybe uh, the spectra one. Uh, you should use uh, another spectra analyzer. Mm. Uh, uh, so, so we should, should uh, know what, what uh, em em level, level of emissions is, is so small, small and uh, uh, this, this level, level 
is uh, on, on the level, level of uh, noise. noise. And, uh, we can, can see, see the noise, noise characteristics, characteristics on the emission spectrum. But uh, on on the picture, I can see that uh, emission spectra under 25 or 30 decibels uh, under the noise. It's not small. Mm, but but uh, uh, this, this uh, harmonics, harmonics uh, provides, provides only, only on... This harmonics, harmonics uh, depends, depends only on, on uh, microcontroller microcontrol microcontrol unit separation. separation. And, and at the upper frequencies, uh, we, we can, can see the noise characteristics. Okay, thank you. Do you have questions? No, no questions. So, thank you for your report. And thank goodbye. Mm -hmm. The next report, uh, Vitaly Karbulin. Uh, hello, participants of the conference. My name is Karbolin Vitali. Let me introduce uh, uh, the results of our work uh, entitled Features of Calculating the Noise Immunity of Ultrawide Bands Radio System in the Indoor Mode. The survey explores a range of issues concerning models of ultrawide band channels, evaluating beta error rate performance and the operation in this channel. The, uh, the algorithm is designed to obtain channel impulse responses using the ray tracing method with the use uh, of uh, pseudo sources, um, avoiding excessive computational load. <clears throat> In addition, we derived analytical expression uh, for bit error probability. Uh, this slide, uh, we can see uh, the definition of, of ultra wide band technology. Uh, uh, the experts um, uh, make uh, accent on the following uh, main advantages of ultrawide band technology. Uh, the key parts of the work uh, uh, we can see on uh, this slide. Uh, we examine two approaches to generate channel impulse response, the statistical and deterministic. We can see uh, some peculiarities on this slide. Uh, on this slide, we can see the principle of using pseudo sources uh, uh, for evaluating uh, race traces. Uh, on this slide, uh, we can see uh, the algorithm uh, uh, of uh, finding uh, the channel impulse response. <clears throat> uh, first of all, we can set, uh, we, must, we must set the transmitter point, receiver point, uh, and uh, the points of uh, the site uh, uh, calculate uh, equation, the coefficient equations of these uh, um, of lines of the walls uh, and uh, normalize uh, drawn from uh, transmitter to the walls. Uh, on this slide, uh, we can see how to find the coordinates of the first order pseudo sources. Uh, this slide shows us how to find the uh, second order pseudo sources uh, the number of uh, the first order uh, pseudo sources is equal to the number of walls and the number of uh, the second order pseudo sources is equal to the uh, squared number of the number of walls and uh, minus uh, the number of walls <clears throat> uh, uh, on this slide we can see uh, the full scope of uh, pseudo sources of the first and second orders uh, this uh, uh, slide uh, explain us how to find the ray trace uh, uh, that have two reflection point. Uh, this uh, slide ex uh, explain us uh, uh, what um, phantom ray mean uh, and uh, this ray we must exclude from the further analysis. Uh, this slide uh, explain us how to find the rays that have one point of reflection. Uh, after the all steps uh, mentioned above, we can uh, obtain uh, the channel impulse response presented on this slide. Uh, this slide uh, shows us uh, the bit error rate performance versus uh, signal to noise ratio dependence uh, 
uh, we can see that uh, the changes in uh, the relative distance between transmitter and receiver uh, changes significantly the channel impulse response and bit error rate curves. Uh, on this slide, we can see that uh, the distance between transmitter and receiver does not change, but the configuration of site uh, changes, uh, and uh, this leads to changes in channel impulse response and bit error rate performance. On this slide, we can see uh, the uh, comparison, uh, the theoretical bit error rate curves uh, versus bit error rate curves obtained. Uh, with the use uh, of simulation of uh, ultra-wideband co radio communication systems. On this slide, we can see uh, 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 the conclusions uh, which can be drawn uh, from uh, the, our work. Uh, it is necessary to know the further development of the algorithm supports the examination of the three-dimensional race propagation model, uh, the most sophisticated reflection model, taking into account the material from which it is caused. Uh, because of ultra-wide band signal has a wide spectral band uh, and in general is a function of frequency. Uh, thank you for your attention. Good morning, Konstantin Tafinsov, Huawei. So I have a question. Did, did, did you do any practical uh, measurements trying to uh, check your algorithm, verify your algorithms in the real environment. Uh, thank, thank you for your questions. questions. Uh, for your question. question. Uh, unfortunately, unfortunately uh, real, real experiments, experiments we do not uh, provide. Uh, uh, only simulation in, in uh, MATLAB. MATLAB. Okay, thank you for your answer. More questions? Mm -hmm. Hello, my name is Adnan. Uh, tell me, please, uh, in practice, uh, where we can use your results? Um, uh, thank, thank you for your question. question. In, in practice, uh, we um, can, can apply, apply our, our results. results uh, um, <coughs> Uh, the algorithms observed uh, in our, our work, work uh, uh, give, give the opportunity, the opportunity uh, uh, to, to adjust, adjust communication, communication uh, ultra band, band, band radio, radio communication system, system uh, to uh, the changes, changes of uh, channel, uh, to changes of the channel, channel uh, uh, and, and uh, to adjust, adjust such, such parameters, parameters uh, uh, like, like uh, uh, modulation scheme, uh, data, data rate, uh, matching, matching to the, the channel, channel impulse response, response uh, 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 achieving uh, uh, the lowest, lowest bit error uh, rate, uh, and, and uh, maximum, maximum data, data transfer, transfer rate, rate uh, for, for the, the given side. side. Okay, thank you. Okay. Oh. Uh, show me slide 14. Mm -hmm. Here, here oh, it is. Oh, okay. Uh, the uh, right picture in vertical axis, it's amplitude? Uh, yes, uh, it, uh, is it is amplitude. amplitude. Uh, how it can be negative? Uh, it can, it can be, be negative uh, because, uh, because uh, uh, in, in the models, models uh, in ultra wide band, band uh, models, uh, when uh, uh, the ray uh, reflects uh, off uh, the surface, uh, 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 for simplicity, it uh, changes its phase and uh, on uh, 180 degrees. And uh, this, uh, um, this is, that's why it is uh, negative. Uh, but uh, in uh, most sophisticated uh, reflection scheme, uh, which uh, we uh, want, want to, to uh, develop, develop your uh, 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 these uh, 
Мэй... Мэй э... Вы мой девелоп, можете ввести эту рефлексию, аккаунт по white frequency band of signal, but it's not working. Yeah, Okay, thank you. Okay, that it was the last question. Thank you for your report. Goodbye. Uh, thank, thank you for your attention. attention. Goodbye. Bye. The next uh, report, Artem Podkabayev. Good day. My name is Artem Podkabayev, and the title of this paper is the application of the method of the square four-point partially coherent model of the volume distributed object synthesis based on its multipoint model. I think synthesis of the such model for the volume distributed object uh, is explored in the example of the moisture target corresponding to the algorithm that is proposed in the previous paper. The moisture target provides the scattering and attenuation of the emitted signal in frequency and time domain. Moreover, the moisture target uh, represents the spatially distributed object. And if a few areas bounded by the radar resolution cell produce unrelated reflections, the summarized accurate signals from such an object is the normal random process. The estimation of the radar radiation center's location fluctuates and may exceed the boundaries of the resolution cell. This phenomenon is called angular glint or, more simple, the angular noise. That may provide considerable estimation errors in bearing angles of pointed targets observed with the moisture target in the background. In the previous paper, the algorithm for the modeling the volume distributed object was proposed in the term, terms of moisture target, this algorithm includes the uh, next few steps. The, few, the first step is the synthesis of the multipoint starting model. This type of model is well known from literature and uh, proved by the years of practice. This model replaces the whole object and replaces it with a high accuracy. The object represents a set of volumes, as it's shown on this slide. For each partial volume or the point of the starting model, the radiating power, the vector of the wind velocity, and the vector of the wind velocity root mean square variance are defined. The next step is synthesis of the low point non-coherent model. This model replaces only the part of the object that is lying inside of the radio resolution cell, and this model emits the uncorrelated random processes. This model is synthesized, is synthesized based on the starting model through the calculation of the emitting powers and the, the spectral correlation characteristics of emitting signals. The third step is the partially coherent model synthesis. This model emits uh, correlated signals and has some advantages of non-coherent model. The synthesis of the partially coherent model is based on the non-coherent model through the calculation of the emitting powers and spectral correlation signals of non-coherent model along the two coordinate axes. The main objective of this paper is the practical test of the proposed algorithm and go to the test. The simulation results are probability density functions and after correlation functions of angle noise produced by starting model and low point partially coherent model. The probability density function, or PDF, and after correlation functions, or RCF, are averaged over the 20 realizations for the 20,000 of samples. This slide shows the comparison of probability density function of angle noise along the axis OX for the radar resolution cell includes and doesn't include in the edge of the object. The next slide shows the same comparison, but along the axis OY. This slide shows the comparison of the correlation functions along the axis OX. 
and uh, this slide the same but along the axis OY. The convergence of uh, functions are proved by method of Pearson He square test with the ease correction for the allowable level of 5 per 100 of false alarm probability. That's all. Thank you for attention. Поясните, пожалуйста, там у вас на девятом слайде представлены графики корреляционной функции, каким образом вы посчитали их? Uh, how you count the function on the slide number nine? But we measure okay. the bearing angle in the processing time, and we made the convolution as a description. It's direct. Uh, can you? Of, uh, I'm so sorry. Uh, can you repeat your answer, please? Okay. okay, we measure the bearing angle. The bearing angle is the process in time, and we made the convolution of process in time, and we made the after correlation function. Okay, thank you for your answer. Do you have more questions? Oh, uh, we have no questions for you. Thank you for your report and Thank you. goodbye. Georgi Malutin. Okay. Uh, good morning. My name is uh, Georgi Malutin. I am a student. Uh, topic of my presentation is experimental study of uh, non-reciprocal uh, controllable device based on a split strip line containing a ferrite substrate. Uh, the purpose of this work uh, is to develop and study an non-reciprocal uh, controllable device to provide an experimental determination of the uh, backscattering matrix. Uh, to solve this problem, a split strip line uh, divided into three sections so, um, was chosen as a transmission line. Uh, uh, two sections are open. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, open sections. And um, uh, hmm. the near ends of uh, each other uh, are connected through the third sections of the split strip line with uh, uh, inclusion of a vertically located ferrite substrate uh, in this in this structure. Uh, uh, it's ferrite. Mm, okay, uh, a section of um, of the strips, uh, split strip line, uh, including strips three and four, um, with a vertically rendered er, um, ferrite uh, substrate, uh, is placed inside uh, the solenoid for um, magnetizing uh, in the longitudinal uh, direction. Uh, this section is uh, closed from external influence um, of the electromagnetic field by winding solenoid. Mm. Uh, experimental studies were carried out uh, on a vector of network analyzer manufactured by Micron. Um, here is shown uh, uh, the research object. Okay, uh, figures four and five show the frequency dependence um, of return loss uh, at different values of uh, the magnetizing current. Um, Figures six and seven show the frequency dependence um, of transfer uh, coefficients um, at different values of the magnetizing current. Uh, as we can see, uh, in the absence of uh, magnet uh, magnetizing uh, current, the coefficients are the same. Uh, it is a red line. And, uh, um, uh, and when the current increases, uh, the coefficients uh, differ from each other. Uh, and uh, figures 8 and 9 uh, show the frequency dependence uh, of uh, phase shift and uh, uh, different values mm, of the measuring um, magnetizing uh, current. Here we can also see that in the absence of current, uh, the phase shift uh, coincides. Uh, the difference in coefficients um, indicates the non-reciprocity of the device. Uh, for more detailed um, analysis of the um, characteristic, 
Uh, we measured the dependence of the introduced phase shift and the modulus of the device transfer coefficients uh, on the based uh, current at the fixed uh, frequency of 7.07 gigahertz uh, with a change in the direct direction of the current in the solenoid. Uh, the, no. <laughs> Uh, the forward direction, uh, red line um, uh, of the current, is a direction that uh, coincides uh, with the direction of propagation of the signal in the uh, device. Uh, the reverse uh, direction uh, is uh, blue line, uh, is one uh, that does not coincide. And um, a control device uh, containing uh, two types of elements uh, that uh, reflect the impacting electromagnetic waves uh, was in uh, investigated. Uh, there are two uh, uncontrolled sections of a split strip line and uh, controlled sections with a magnet uh, magnetized uh, ferrite substrate. The data obtained make it possible to conduct uh, radiophysical studies um, of scattering uh, matrix um, of the considers device and other device um, of similar type in order to study a mechanism of uh, non-reciprocity such uh, matrix. Um, and that's all. Uh, thanks for attention. Thank you so much for your report. Do I have any questions? Yes. Uh, can you show the slide uh, where S11? Mm, okay. Uh -huh. uh, when in the figure four, uh, the S11 uh, is changes uh, very much uh, when the currents uh, increased. Increased, yes. But uh, S22, uh, S21 in the next slide uh, changes not so much. Why? Um, uh, uh, this changes is different. Um, why? Uh, because. Um, Mm -hmm. uh, because uh, of the phenomenon of ferromagnetic um, resonance here. Uh, so we can see about uh, non-reciprocal uh, device and uh, yes, uh, this characteristic uh, will be d d different. No, uh, I see that uh, if I um, take S11 with uh, current equal zero, uh, I see it's um, pass band filter. <laughs> yeah. But uh, in S21, I don't see it. I can't answer this question. I don't know why. <laughs> okay. It's but uh, maybe no. later. Uh, there we can see that uh, mm, uh, current is null, uh, we have uh, the same characteristic. And the, but why S11 and was 22 are different, I don't know. Okay, thank you. More questions? No? So, thank you for your report. Thank you. Mm -hmm. The next report, uh, uh, так, uh, Жечев, Евгений Жевчев. My name is Evgeny. I'm a postgraduate student of TUSUR. Um, now um, I am going to talk to you about the, uh, my research, uh, the use of quarter wave resonators to improve model filter performance. So, uh, presentation structure. I will start uh, by the relevance of the research. Uh, secondly, I would like to show you our methods and approaches, and then um, I will show you uh, our um, results. Um, and um, finally, uh, a brief conclusion was uh, provided. Well, um, 
Uh, as you can see um, from the slide, electromagnetic compatibility um, involves protection uh, electronics uh, from conductive, inductive, and uh, radiated interference. Um, thus, uh, conducted uh, electromagnetic interference penetrating um, equ uh, the equipment uh, through conductors. Um, uh, one of the uh, most uh, dangerous type of the conducted uh, interference is ultra-short pulse, uh, which have uh, a very, uh, a very uh, wide frequency uh, spectrum, uh, high amplitude, uh, and very small uh, duration, uh, time duration. So, um, um, no, um, a modern protection devices um, cannot suppress uh, such interference uh, because uh, they have uh, a very um, high uh, uh, time response uh, and um, not have uh, uh, power uh, dissipation. Um, high potential uh, ultra short power protection device um, um, is device based on the uh, principle of model decomposition. Um, model decomposition. So, uh, such devices ha uh, have uh, a very fast response, uh, low cost, and high uh, power dissipation. So, um, components of ultra short pulse, um, you know, when uh, propagate into the line, um, because uh, line uh, have uh, um, two or more modes uh, with uh, different per unit line delays, uh, the ultra short pulse is decomposed into uh, two or more uh, pulses uh, with a smaller amplitude. Um, so, uh, if you look at this graph, you will see a model decomposition um, in uh, uh, line uh, in the reflection uh, symmetric model filters. Um, uh, the ultra short pulse uh, is decomposed into four pulses. Uh, with a smaller amplitude because the, the structure have uh, a four basic modes. Uh, but um, uh, it is often um, the uh, total uh, attenuation of uh, wide band um, interferences, uh, it's, not, uh, it's not good. And um, such devices have a little uh, suppression, uh, have a little suppression. Um, so, um, to improve the noise immunity of uh, such device, uh, there are uh, many approaches, uh, but um, all of them have uh, some uh, di uh, disadvantages um, that uh, limit their uh, application area. Uh, so, um, the use of uh, resonators uh, like this, or quad wave resonators, um, is um, seen uh, to be the simplest uh, way uh, to be improved uh, model filter performance. Uh, well, um, the aim of this study is, um, um, the purpose of my talk is to tell uh, you about the uh, one um, methods to improve model filter per performance by using a quarter wave uh, resonators. Um, for do this, uh, we can, um, uh, we must to um, simulate uh, model filter structure without resonators in frequency and time domains and with them. So, um, um, this slide shows the uh, um, configuration uh, of uh, the um, model filters under study, uh, two conductor model filters and uh, reflection symmetric model filter. Um, you can see that the uh, ultra short pulse uh, is decomposed into two pulse with smaller amplitude and four pulse with smaller amplitude. Um, this slide shows uh, the um, connection diagram in uh, a DS system uh, which, uh, in which uh, we used uh, a quasi-static approach uh, and, um, and schematic approach. Um, so, uh, as a substrate material for a two-wire model filters and a reflection model fil for a reflection model filters, uh, we used a fiberglass uh, with uh, these uh, electric parameters, uh, and for the uh, conductive material, uh, we used a copper. So, um, at the first stage, 
um, we obtain the frequency dependence uh, of the transmission coefficient uh, for the bus structure uh, with, uh, without resonators. Uh, and uh, we uh, obtain the limits uh, uh, which, uh, as we seen, provide uh, the better configura uh, the better uh, electric parameters. Um, we did uh, the same for the reflection symmetric module filter. So uh, um, after um, no, um, slide shows um, the optimization results uh, for the two wire uh, two conductor module filter um, by adjusting the um, geometrical parameters of the resonators. Um, so uh, here we get the same results, um, but the, uh, well, for the reflection symmetric model filter um, on both graph, um, you can see that the optimization condition are met and the frequency response on, um, of the filter has improved. Um, this slide show uh, um, after optimization results uh, when uh, we um, applied a trapezoidal pulse uh, with a uh, short duration uh, into the uh, active line of the model filter. Um, you can see that the, uh, in, in the case of model filter uh, without resonators, uh, the ultra short pulse is decomposed into two pulses with a smaller amplitude, um, and amplitude uh, was uh, 2080 millivolts. Uh, but uh, when we use uh, resonators, uh, our amplitude um, um, was uh, smaller uh, to uh, 78 millivolts. Um, in the case uh, of a reflection symmetric model filter, um, ultra short pulse is decompo was decomposed into four pulses with smaller amplitude, and uh, high amplitude was uh, se uh, 72 millivolts. Uh, in the case uh, with uh, resonators, um, the maximum amplitude at the output of the model filter is uh, 36 millivolts. You know, um, so um, against, um, uh, in, in, the, in this case, um, it's not possible to distinguish uh, the mods because uh, this structure with resonators have uh, extended waves uh, which um, mm, provides, um, don't, uh, not provides uh, each pulses. Um, well, um, mm -hmm. uh, a quasi-static analysis and optimization of structure of the two conductor model filters and reflection symmetric model filter uh, was performed uh, for uh, structure with resonators and without them. Uh, uh, we um, obtained um, a better attenuation for the ultraweight uh, ultra band uh, interferences conducted. Um, as a research perspective, uh, we can uh, see it is a full wave electrodynamic simulation and uh, experimental study. So, thank you for your attention. Now I am ready to answer your question. Okay, and thank you for your report. I see. Uh, Konstantin Tafins of Huawei. Uh, so my question is, uh, what about the pass band of such filter? So, so I pass band. Didn't hear. Pa pass band. Oh. Pass band. How oh. it uh, behaves in the pass band? Oh. How it uh, changes the uh, the signal we are trying to demodulate? Okay, thank you for your question. Uh, if we're talking about the pass band of the uh, bus configuration, uh, they are not changed because uh, our limits uh, was uh, stand uh, and we controlled the pass band of uh, both structure. What about flatness? It's not so good as I, as I can see. Mm -hmm. Flatness. Mm. In the pass band. So, so uh, this is uh, a low pass filter and uh, uh, the flat uh, position. Uh, you mean this? Yes. Um, it's um, uh, not uh, important for us because uh, we um, 
obtained our pass band by minus uh, three decibel, and uh, it's not um, uh, very important, you know. Uh, and what's about uh, further response? Um, yeah, in this study, we are not um, calculate or measure further response, um, but um, um, in this um, in this slide, uh, this slide shows uh, um, the um, average uh, uh, per unit per unit line delays by the line uh, by the both line uh, two conductors and the reflection symmetric conductors. Um, um, but um, in this study, uh, we not uh, obtain the results for the um, signal which uh, uh, list in the passband. Have you got any questions more? No? Okay. Thank you for your report. Okay. Have a good day. You are explorers. It's who you are. You think bigger and smaller. You think faster and slower. You take inspiration from everywhere so you can innovate more. Your visions start in rooms, move to desktops, then to pockets, then to wrists. You ask big questions, pose impossible challenges, all the while seeking those who believe like you do. At Keysight, we believe. We nurture the far-fetched, remove barriers that limit possibilities, and stay ahead of the standards. We redefine precision in measurement so you can go smaller. We integrate and expand test functions so you can streamline complex workflows and we surface intelligent analytics so you can innovate faster. We believe in you. We are Keysight. We accelerate innovation. Hello everyone, my name is uh, Al-Khash Hassan Adnan or uh, Al-Khash Hassan Adnan in English. Um, Today, I uh, want to um, present to you uh, two, uh, two papers, uh, and uh, I will try to general all uh, the work in one. Uh, but uh, I will start with uh, this one, and I will try to use uh, some of my time uh, to um, uh, tell you a little story uh, about how all uh, our research started. You already uh, heard about the model filter and uh, uh, <coughs> you will hear uh, a lot uh, also about model reservation, how all this starts. So, uh, today, uh, after uh, history, I will uh, also uh, try to um, uh, c uh, concentrate on, on the goal of my study and uh, to present uh, present the uh, structures under study and the method used to um, uh, to analyze them and uh, of course in which software system and at last i will summarize uh, all the obtained results so uh, suddenly uh, not so uh, not so past uh, we are trying uh, while we are trying to uh, investigate the structure of um, printed circuit board. So we notice that uh, when we have uh, a passive uh, conductor uh, near to an active one, uh, the, <coughs> the impulse will decompose. So we said, oh, this is great. How we can use it uh, to uh, protect our devices uh, from the harmful uh, signal? Uh, we started to investigate this case and try uh, why this is happening. So, uh, we already know that uh, the signal uh, uh, propagation uh, propagated uh, here in two modes. So, uh, we found that when the duration of this impulse is less than the difference uh, between the time, uh, the delay time of uh, the two other modes, so the impulse will decompose. 
we call this modal filter. Uh, uh, next, after um, a lot of investigation, uh, we tried uh, why we, we don't use this uh, filter, not only to protect uh, a one um, uh, transmission line or uh, to protect uh, the PCP, uh, just for protecting. We can use it uh, also to um, uh, improve the reliability of uh, the, our devices. So uh, we propose uh, a method. Uh, we called it a modal reservation. It depends when, uh, when we have two PCPs uh, lie on each other. So uh, this way uh, we will form a modal filter and also when, the other, uh, when one of the printed circuit uh, fail, the other will work. So this is uh, two in one, will ensure the electromagnetic compatibility and also uh, will uh, improve uh, the reliability of the final device. So uh, this uh, technique or method, model reservation, is already uh, used uh, nowadays in a uh, power source uh, a power source block for uh, spacecraft atomic navigation system and also in uh, digital processing uh, signal uh, for uh, spacecraft. But this method is um, a lot investigated in, uh, related to the uh, conducted emission. But uh, regarding to the radiated emission, which uh, is also important because uh, it can uh, affect the work of other devices. So, uh, the goal of our study today to investigate this uh, method regarding to modern reservation. Uh, to do that uh, last in the last year, and uh, fortunately uh, also in EDM, we proposed uh, an algorithm which can help us to um, obtained the radiated emission from these structures uh, in uh, acceptable and efficient way. So we combined uh, two analyses, quasi-static and electrodynamic analysis in one. Uh, we used the nodal uh, potential method uh, plus uh, method of moment as a quasi-static analysis to calculate the uh, frequency response uh, of the line and also to calculate the currents uh, along, uh, no, uh, in each segment along the wire. Uh, after that, uh, we use uh, the uh, electrodynamic analysis uh, uh, as a um, uh, Harrington model uh, to calculate the electric field intensity and then draw the diagram, uh, the uh, radiation pattern. Uh, this method uh, also we, t we started to investigate it and we published uh, some works. We tried to uh, know how the segmentation, uh, segmentation will affect uh, our results, uh, our uh, method. And uh, also uh, we compared uh, the results of our uh, algorithm with, uh, with uh, only pure electrodynamic analysis. Uh, but uh, till now, uh, all our study uh, was uh, on structure, on test structure, without uh, inhomogeneous uh, dielectric filling. So uh, obviously, uh, I'll try uh, today to uh, present you our study uh, on this method, but with uh, dielectric filling. Uh, here are the structures under study. Uh, with their parameters. Uh, I want to, uh, also to remember you this is a tested structure. Uh, then, we, uh, we obtained uh, the current distribution along uh, the wire. And uh, if, if I can explain here, well, uh, was we have uh, about uh, 640 segments uh, along each wire. So uh, here you can see the current distribution, but uh, at first uh, uh, for the uh, 
for the for the wire and then for its mirror. So uh, we use uh, the image theory to uh, calculate uh, or to represent uh, the current uh, which will flow uh, in the ground. Uh, and uh, here uh, always will be uh, the, uh, the current from the source. So also we calculated the per unit uh, delay uh, time uh, for, uh, for in different uh, values uh, of uh, the electric permittivity. Uh, the same result we, uh, we are seeing here. You can see here, and uh, this is the radiation pattern uh, obtained uh, for uh, structure without the electric, and here with the, the electric. Uh, you can see here that uh, at first the um, amplitude of the current uh, arise, and this is uh, maybe uh, because of uh, the wave impedance uh, along the wire decreases. And also you can notice that uh, at the first uh, segment, uh, the amplitude of the current arises also uh, with increasing the uh, dielectric permittivity. Uh, this is uh, may um, tell the moment we uh, wrote uh, this work uh, that was unknown for us and uh, we, we are now working on it uh, but um, it's, uh, we are trying to improve our uh, uh, technique and how we are modeling uh, the source in our software. So maybe it's, uh, this is our fault. And um, about um, the, we can see here the uh, asymmetric arising uh, with increasing the dielectric permittivity. Uh, this is because of the uh, shift, uh, phase shift of the current. Uh, next, uh, we will also compare the results for structure uh, without the electric and with the electric, but uh, here uh, for uh, two coupled wires. Uh, at first, uh, we started uh, to um, simulate uh, the structure, but uh, we have to know which... Um, where we have to put the other wire. So uh, we already talked that uh, the, um, uh, our uh, uh, method will work only if the difference between the delay modes will be uh, no, the most or the biggest. Uh, so we calculated the, uh, the time delay uh, uh, for each mode. And uh, at first, uh, we took, uh, we, we fix the, the distance from the ground at one millimeter and move, um, uh, move the second wire from uh, zero to 10 millimeter. And uh, after that also we uh, fixed the distance between the wires at one millimeter. Uh-huh. Uh, after that, uh, we fixed uh, the distance between uh, the uh, wires and um, uh, changed the distance from the ground. So uh, after calculating, uh, we noticed that uh, the, most, uh, the biggest uh, difference in the delay is when the distance from, uh, between the conductors is uh, zero and the distance from the ground is one millimeter. Uh, we calculated uh, our um, our result on this structure at uh, for uh, for start at uh, the electric permittivity uh, equal to uh, three, and we obtained th uh, this uh, radiation pattern for structure uh, without the electric and here for uh, the structure with the with the electric. Also, we can see the rising in the amplitude and the phase shift. Uh, because uh, we know that uh, the maximum values uh, of electric intensity change uh, with the direction, uh, we present the result uh, of, uh, of this radiation pattern, but in different um, directions. Uh, here also we can notice uh, the same, what we uh, noticed uh, with the, for the structure with um, for one wire. But uh, the difference here is the 
asymmetric starts to uh, dec uh, decrease. Uh, uh, we can notice that by increasing the, the electric primitivity, the asymmetric uh, decrease. And this is uh, what we are uh, working on uh, nowadays. I will... Mm -hmm. I will Thank you. Uh, not so far from uh, this work, um, I already said that we are using um, a radio electronic device uh, a lot uh, in our uh, uh, in our life, and we we have to protect them, and we protect uh, ourselves from from it, uh, like protect ourselves uh, from the radiation or protect uh, other uh, our devices. Uh, so, uh, to, uh, uh, to uh, meet all the requirement for conducted and um, uh, radiated emissions uh, early at the design cycle, um, uh, we have to, uh, we, we have to uh, um, uh, at first simulate or a lot of modeling uh, for, uh, for any structure we are, uh, any device we are uh, manufacturing. Uh, so for that, uh, the use of uh, which which method to use or which uh, sim uh, simulation program to use, it's a big compl a complicated issue. Uh, we all know that electrodynamic analysis is very accurate, uh, uh, but it's very uh, difficult to understand and to build. Uh, and especially nowadays, we, we all hear about uh, that um, how to obtain own software, not to use uh, foreign softwares. So uh, we are trying uh, going toward, the, toward this and uh, for this we uh, wrote a, pro a program model and implemented it uh, in our software. This uh, model uh, helped us to um, this model helped us to uh, uh, simulate the all uh, obtained the radiation pattern from the structure with model reservation. So we are going to test this structure, but uh, not uh, uh, test it. Also, we uh, we are going to compare uh, our earlier results uh, for on model reservation uh, for this structure, but in other software uh, in pure electrodynamic analysis. So here are uh, the tested structure. And uh, here, uh, the earlier obtained result uh, in uh, EM Pro software. Uh, next, uh, also here, uh, the earlier results. We can see that uh, for uh, the structure with model reservation, the uh, radiated emission uh, is uh, no, smaller, but this is uh, not at the uh, whole frequency range because at some frequency, we can see that um, uh, the opposite case uh, is noticed, and this is maybe because of the uh, phase shifting of the current along the structure. But uh, here we, ca we can see at uh, frequency uh, 9.3 that the, we, uh, the maximum uh, decrease in radiated emission uh, about uh, 4, uh, 4 point same uh, time. Here we compare the, the emission in a different direction at different frequency, uh, at uh, 0 0.5, uh, 5, and uh, 10 gigahertz. Uh, we will return to the, our software now. and uh, Here is the calculated um, current distribution uh, uh, along the wire. Uh, I want uh, here to explain something um, about the segmentation. Uh, on each wire also we had uh, 640 uh, segment on each wire. So uh, here uh, the, the wires are um, uh, organized end to end. So here the first uh, active uh, conductor, the, uh, the second one, and here it's uh, mirror. Uh, here are uh, the results obtained uh, using our software, and we can notice that with model reservation, the maximum field uh, electric field intensity decreased. Uh, 
and degreased in all directions. Uh, we took uh, for uh, uh, as initial data uh, just uh, in frequency range from uh, 0 0.5 to 10, uh, but with um, uh, step uh, 05, uh, 0.5 gigahertz. Uh, we obtained uh, these results, and we can see that also uh, with model reservation. Uh, the radiated emission or the values of the electric field intensity decreased, but not all uh, at the all uh, frequency range. Uh, here we we, uh, we cannot see all the um, uh, values because the step range is uh, big. So uh, maybe uh, uh, in the future we will uh, make more details here. Uh, we took the same uh, results from uh, electrodynamic analysis uh, at the same uh, frequencies and compare it. Um, of course, we cannot see that the results are uh, completely uh, completely um, the same, but uh, the, the principle of the model reservation is uh, um, uh, the principle of model reservation is, uh, can, how can you say, uh, we already get it in the, uh, in the two uh, softwares. Uh, also, we uh, compared the, the results in different directions. Uh, and uh, at the future, we are going to um, simulate uh, our structure, but um, our method uh, uh, but in different structure uh, and in different um, uh, method or type of model reservation because we have not only a, a single model reser reservation, we have uh, multiple reser uh, model reservation structures. And also we are going to um, achieve a clear explanation about uh, our already uh, uh, obtained result. Thank you. Okay, thank you for your report. And now let's ask some questions. Do I have any questions? Uh, can you show the slide 23? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, radiation. Uh, electric field intensity. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, with a fre fre frequency. Yes. And I see that UM Pro and Talgat is uh, sufficiently different. Uh, of course, uh, they will be different because uh, uh, I started uh, talk, uh, my speech talking about that uh, we implement uh, a new approach and we are testing it. Uh, this new approach, uh, we used uh, different uh, two approaches quasi-static and electrodynamic, and they are using different methods. So uh, to control the ac accuracy of this method, we are uh, on, on research to do that. But mm, so, I tried here not to, uh, to say that uh, our results will uh, store 100% uh, 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 the same as uh, other uh, programs or other methods. I'm trying to say that uh, I can't get um, acceptable results. And Tell now. Where is the truth? Where is the truth? Yes. <laughs> you can say without model reservation with EM Pro here. And with, uh, with EM Pro, uh, the radiated emission decreases. It's mod two model uh, one pro of one process electrodynamic model and uh, quasi static model. Am I right? Where? Where? Uh, no. In this, e this result for two model. Of one? No. Uh, EM Pro use uh, only electrodynamic analysis. In Talgat, we use our approach. We combine two analyses, two different analyses in one. Yes. So two different analyses for one device. Duh, but you, you see only one result for our algorithm here in Talgat. Because we combined it and uh, we use uh, the combination in calculation. At first, the quasi static, we use it only to calculate the current, and then we use electrodynamic only to calculate the electric field intensity. 
these two results for uh -huh. two models of one device. Yes. And they see for a frequency, for example, uh, 9.5, uh, gigahertz. Mm -hmm. uh, EM Pro, it's uh, something about uh, 0 0.6, uh, 0 0.6. Uh, for Talgat, it's uh, for something about uh, 0 0.1. Here, da? Uh, here and uh, da. down, yes. Uh, it's 6 point. Uh, I know that, but you, uh, I already told you that uh, we are investigating uh, our method. We, we tell now we are, we are not able to uh, um, determine. We can see that uh, in some times they are close, right? Are you agree with me? No, at some times they are not close at all. I, I can see that this is a huge uh, difference between them, but I'm on process to investigate. Why is this? I'm trying to, uh, only to introduce my work to you, how uh, I am um, uh, dealing with, uh, with this on my research. But in uh, low frequency, it's too not good. Uh, Correlation. No, okay, well. Uh, Constantine speaking again from Huawei. Uh, nice report, interesting. So this, I can see the big uh, work about it. So it's some hardware structures, microwave strips you are investigating and also trying to implement the software. Uh, your own software. So my question is similar to previous one, but I want to understand whether you did some real hardware uh, verification of the results which gives the software. Maybe for some simple structures or maybe on the low frequencies or whatever. So because we design, we, uh, say we want to use software to predict how it behaves in real life. But now we don't know who is, or which software gives us results closer to the truth. How to verify it? So did you do uh, that? Yes, we are uh, working on this. Uh, and uh, I can say that uh, our uh, PCB is uh, already, uh, um, they are uh, ready for uh, experiment. But uh, I, can't, uh, I cannot uh, um, present uh, the result now because we didn't, uh, uh, do the experiment, but uh, this is, will be very soon, and I hope uh, our uh, results will <laughs> will be uh, like uh, the experiment. Okay, uh, thank you. And w one more question about so um, uh, why why so big steps you use here? Uh, maybe small steps. Is it the software related? Maybe it's count a, one day or a week or what? Um, I mean, the running, the running simulation. How I much didn't time? mention it, but uh, why we are working on this uh, software and this program? Because uh, we cannot uh, always use uh, foreign software and also uh, electrodynamic analysis. It's uh, very um, computational. Um, um, cost required. So, uh, for example, to, uh, it got me to get uh, this uh, result uh, in about, uh, uh, in EMPRO about, uh, for example, for one, uh, one, one point, uh, 35 minutes in EMPRO and in Talgat is about uh, only four minutes. Uh, we are working uh, to improve our result and uh, by that we can um, save a lot of uh, financial uh, financial and uh, financial and uh, uh, time so um, why i choose a uh, big because uh, for now i am uh, we are uh, going uh, in in development uh, in the code of the software so uh, the limited uh, was only at this uh, step uh, there is interesting one more little question. Did you also consider some open source 
Because, as I know, Talgat is also need to pay for it. <laughs> Did you I, consider it open source uh, software? Open source so, uh, software? Uh, this is uh, not related to me in person. Uh, I don't know if I can answer this. But I, I think uh, now it's uh, open source and I think it will be. Uh, because uh, we are uh, working on this software in our university. And um, for all students, it's uh, open source. I mean, did you uh, try to find the open source analog, another one? So not your custom. So you have pay, uh, let's say the vendor provided uh, software, your own software, mm -hmm. and maybe some open source. Because it seems to me there is some should be some. Uh, open source softwares ha uh, have its problem because uh, even uh, if uh, it's open, it's uh, limited. And also you can't find uh, anything you want in this uh, uh, version of open source. Maybe you will, uh, you will uh, use it for a month and then you, you will have, if you have a full uh, functional uh, program, you have to pay. So uh, we have... Uh, can you explain it for me? <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, uh, have you got one more question? No? Okay, so thank you for your report. Thank you. The next uh, report. Natalia Vlasova. Uh, good afternoon, dear participant. My name is Natalia. My name is Natalia Vlasova. I'm going to present to, to you my research of topic parametric optimization of shielded semiconductor model field with circle cross section. Every year, the problem of electromagnetic compatibility is uh, aggravated due to the high ground rates of the number of various radio electronic devices. Radio electronic devices susceptibility to various electromagnetic disturbances increases uh, the result uh, is massive failures uh, in the operation of the radio electronic devices. Uh, model filtration technology has been proposed to protect against powerful auto shot pulse. Its main idea is to decompose the existing auto shot pulse into a uh, um, Sequence to pulses due to the difference in uh, mod delays. This technology is uh, implement, implemented uh, in device scalate model filters. The traditional implementation of model filters uh, impulses a strip uh, structure version. However, there uh, exists a version of the, mod of the model filters uh, in the form of uh, structures with a circular cross section. The particular application of such uh, model filters involves uh, the implementation in uh, the shield. Um, the aim of uh, the, this work uh, is to review the possibility of uh, the ultra short pulse circular cross section in the shielded model filters configuration. The main tasks tasks are presented on this slide. The model filters consisting of uh, from two for uh, five conductors with circular symmetry, symmetry they selected. The choice of the model filter design was determined by the common uh, use of cable with uh, such uh, cross-section in both home and uh, industrial applications. Simulation and uh, optimization we carried out in the targets uh, software. Um, the initial parameters of the model filters present on uh, this slide. For model filters 2 and model filters 3, uh, the R values are taken equal to 3.6 millimeters and R4, uh, 3.5 millimeters. 
equivalent circuits are presented on this slide, as well as simulation parameters. Voltage waveforms are the model filters uh, ends before optimization are shown in this slide. Table shows the main characteristics of model filters after simulation with the parameters before optimization. So let's show uh, overwrapping the filter uh, of the pulses uh, uh, arriving uh, at the output of model filters from two uh, uh, to four. As a result, uh, these model filters increase uh, in resulting maximum output amplitude. In the general case, uh, in microconductors model filters, there are any uh, and decomposition pulses. I, it can be seen what in model filters uh, from two to four, two, uh, two, 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 and four uh, pulses arrive at the, the output rather than uh, three, four, and five pulses, respectively. Uh, as it shall be. This suggests uh, superposition uh, of same decomposition pulses coming at the same time. Uh, this slide shows model filters one and uh, two after optimization with parameters. Uh, the epsilon r is the relative uh, dielectric permittivity of the medium and uh, r is the radius on the cross section element. Uh, this slide shows model filter 3 and model filter uh, 4 after optimization with parameters. Um, as a result, epsilon r value of all dielectric changes uh, as well as the r values of the conductor and uh, the coordinate uh, arrangement to break the symmetry and establish different couplings between the active and passive conductors. Um, optimization was performed by heuristic search according to several criteria, the amplitude and the time interval and minimum and maximum time. The main focus uh, was established different coupling between active and passive conductors. It is now from particular simulation and optimization experience what uh, changing the epsilon r value on the central dielectric loss, increasing the time intervals between decomposition pulses. In addition, uh, it was found what changing uh, the epsilon r value of the internal dielectric uh, changed the amplitude of pulses 2 and uh, 3. Table shows the main characteristic of model filters after optimization. Table demonstrated the possibility of attenuate the exciting ultra short pulse by 2, 3.1, 3.21, and uh, 4.3 times with increasing the total duration up to the 0 0.42, 2.7, 0 0.33, and 0 0.9 nanoseconds per meters for the model filters respectively. Uh, this slide shows the voltage waveforms at the model filters uh, ends before uh, optimization since voltage waveforms uh, at the model filters and after uh, optimization for clarity. Um, the main uh, conclusions of the work are presented on uh, this slide. Thank you for your attention. I am ready to answer your question. Okay, thank you for your report. Do you have any questions? Please show me slide five. It's seven. Uh -huh. Okay, it's cross sections of uh, model filters. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, how did you? choose these two cross sections. Uh, for example, uh, 2, 3 and 4 is equidistantal uh, conductors, but 5 is not equidistantal. Why? Uh, this uh, cross section... Uh, uh, так. 
This model filter design was determined by the com uh, use the cables with such cross section in both home and industrial application. Uh, it is you know, typical cross sections of cables. Uh, okay, it's situation. typical cross section that uh, industry. Exist industry now. Okay, but uh, then you optimize this topology and these cross sections and uh, you take another cross sections uh, yes. that industry doesn't uh, doesn't produce uh, in the future is produced your my structure mm, are you sure it's very in in your filter it's needed uh, no very short cable um, industry doesn't uh, interest uh, produce uh, this short cable with uh, your topo with your cross section uh, i Uh, I know you answer your question because it is problem uh, it is existing I know about it okay and what's the method uh, which you use to optimize this cross section it is heuristic search uh, can you uh, explain it I use this method because heuristic search involves changing the coordinate location of the conductors. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your answer. Some thank more you. questions? No, thank you. Thank you for your report. The next report, uh, Evgenia Cher Chernikova. Participants, dear chairman, my name is Evgenia Chernikova and I am postgraduate student of TOSUR and topic of my report is mul uh, multivariate analysis of multiconductor transmission lines for triple model reservation. Currently, radio electronic equipment is massively introduced in almost all industries, including nuclear, uh, military, uh, medical industries, and telecommunication industries. Such a tendency leads to an aggravation uh, to, of the electromagnetic compatibility problem uh, due to a vulnerability of equip equipment um, to electromagnetic effects. One of uh, the Widely used ways to improve the reliability of the equipment is called standby. Uh, if your function resort um, circuit fails, uh, power is uh, supplied to the passive resolving uh, circuit. However, reservation approach increases size, weight, uh, power um, con uh, conception, uh, installation time, and cost. Uh, thus, the search of new ways to improve uh, the uh, reliability and uh, ensure electromagnetic compatibility of equipment uh, is urgent. Uh, protection against uh, powerful ultra-short pulses is important. Uh, one of the, uh, the protection principles is based on model filtering. Uh, it was proposed to combine a reservation and the effects of model re filtering. The result was model reservation. To ensure uh, higher reliability, a method of triple model reservation of interconnections has been proposed. However, um, however, mm, uh, uh, existing mm, studies of triple model reservation are not enough. 
Uh, meanwhile, it is relevant um, to consider various configuration of uh, multi-conductor transmission line uh, suitable for triple mode reservation. In this work, we propose to perform uh, preliminary uh, simulation and analysis of new interference suppression multi-conductor transmission lines with triple model reservation with uh, the reference conductor in the center uh, and, in, and in the form of side uh, polygons. Cross-section of these lines are shown on the slide. Uh, the schematic diagrams are shown on the slide. Uh, to simulate uh, the time response, we select three uh, sources of uh, excitation, um, uh, trapezoid, mm -hmm, uh, trapezoid um, pulse um, electrostatic uh, discharge, and uh, um, uh, digitize the signal of a real ultra-short pulse ge generator. Uh, simulation of... Um, Frequency response of the lines uh, we performed under the uh, harmonic excitation of electromotive force uh, of 2 volt uh, in the frequency range from 1 megahertz to 3 megahertz um, and um, to uh, parametric optimize uh, of lines uh, we perform a heuristic search. Uh, simulation of uh, time response we performed in the range uh, of the cross-section parameters um, with uh, some deviation of their values uh, uh, relative to parameter set 1. Um, the slide shows the voltage waveforms uh, at the multi-conductor uh, multi uh, transmission line uh, output. Simulation results show uh, that um, maximum differences uh, between neighboring values of uh, per unit length delays uh, when, <coughs> when simulated with different sets of parameters of uh, four uh, lines with a uh, uh, reference conductor in the center and is um, and the center is um, absorbed at pulse two, and uh, uh, for transmission line with reference reference conductors of side polygons is absorbed uh, at pulse uh, three. Um, the table summarizes. Um, uh, the values of maximum out output uh, voltage and the values of the parent unit length delays uh, of the modes. Uh, changing the parameters um, <coughs> significantly affects uh, the um, values of maximum amplitude. Uh, the attenuation uh, is uh, 4.04 uh, times and uh, uh, 4. Um, zero uh, one eight uh, times relative uh, to uh, the input voltage for each uh, lines respectively. Uh, further, we consider the cases with um, when the uh, uh, same uh, transmission lines are um, exciting uh, by an electrostatic discharge and uh, the real ultra short pulse uh, generator signal. Uh, when simulating we, uh, the time response uh, to both excitations, uh, we select, uh, we choose um, a parameter set one. Uh, it is uh, the case of the electrostatic discharge excitation, only it's a uh, peak uh, burst um, <coughs> of about four nanoseconds. Uh, and guess uh, model decomposition. The maximum current um, amplitude are 6.99 ampere and uh, 6.74 uh, ampere for each uh, transmission line, respectively. Simulation of the transmission line excited by a real uh, ultra short pulse generator signal uh, was performed, taking into account the losses with. Uh, um, in the conductor and dielectric, due to partial superposition of the composition pulses, it is impossible to estimate um, the values of the delays. Uh, the attenuation uh, is uh, seven point three two times and uh, five point seven nine times, respectively. Uh, frequency response. Mm -hmm. Uh, frequency response at the output of uh, transmission lines uh, are, are obtained, uh, obtained um, similarly um, to simulating time responses and they are presented on the slide. Uh, it can be seen uh, from the simulation results that the bandwidth of uh, transmission line varies and significantly for all sets of parameters. Um, 
Uh, this slide uh, shows uh, the parameters obtained as a result of optimization. After optimization, the values of the maximum amplitude remained uh, <coughs> pra uh, practically unchanged. Uh, however, it is uh, possible, first of all, to equalize uh, the time intervals between the composition pulses. Uh, thus, um, the analysis of transmission lines was carried out with uh, the excitation of the reference conductor in the center and the uh, uh, form of side polygons for a triple model reservation. Based on the results obtained, uh, it can be concluded that uh, both transmission lines can be successfully used uh, for implementation of new devices with a triple model reservation. And uh, the possibility of creating such transmission line is uh, justified by uh, the uh, um, reality of constructive and technological, uh, technological implementations. Thank you for your attention. Thank you for your report. Do you have any questions? Okay. Uh, uh, what the uh, source of uh, ultra short pulses in real life? Uh, we um, uh, um, okay. Uh, we choose uh, um, ultra short pulse signal. Uh, uh, it. Uh, um, it uh, was obtained uh, by um, digitized um, uh, digi digitized um, give, give oh, thank you Uh, this um, uh, signal uh, was obtained by um, uh, using uh, digitized, uh, we, we uh, use digitized uh, real uh, generator of uh, uh, ultra short pulse generator. Uh, as no, uh, as it's nine. It's generator is okay, mm -hmm. it's, uh, but in real life. I have ah. uh, any device, mm -hmm. uh, and what source of uh, this ultra short pulse uh, that uh, impact on my device? Uh, thank you for your question. Um, uh, real uh, ultra short pulse uh, we mm, we can obtain uh, by uh, ultra short pulse generator. Uh, for example, uh, such uh, pulses uh, uh, can be uh, obtained uh, in. Uh, Institute of uh, High Current uh, Electronic uh, in Tomsk. No, no. Uh. You have a device, a telephone. For ah, okay. Mm -hmm. What ultra, ultra short pulses impact on it right now? Uh, first of all, is uh, um, um, mm. No, once we crash it, not chat. Uh, premeditated, uh, premeditated uh, um, uh, impact. Uh, for example, um, anybody uh, want to um, uh, um, fail my uh, telephone and uh, can uh, and uh, he can um, take a little um, box with uh, generator ultra of ultra short pulse and uh, no generator real devices what source you uh, report start from uh, Ah, your report starts that uh, uh. any devices, uh, at, the, at the any devices mm -hmm. impact ultra short pulses. What sources, what real sources, not generated, generated, it's in laboratory, in real life. Um. For example, 
uh, pulse uh, was um, obtained by short circuit um, Mm. Okay, in left picture, uh, the circuit, circuit, it's ultra short pulse in, in the input of device. Uh, this is uh, electrostatic discharge, uh, and uh, um, yes, yeah, so, uh, uh, okay. it's twenty amperes. No, twenty. Mm. But twenty amperes. It's a bomb. Yes, uh, yeah, <laughs> I understand. By uh, but um, electrostatic discharge uh, um, can be obtained uh, by um, when we um, our devices uh, charge charging um, uh, and in. Uh, um, uh, and and in uh, circuit uh, uh, can uh, um, can be uh, electrostatic discharge. Uh, yes, uh, it uh, it not it uh, it don't um, has uh, uh, amplitude of twenty amperes, but uh, uh, however. Um, Electrostatic discharge uh, uh, is uh, uh, one of uh, ultra short pulse. Uh, one of view of ultra short pulse. If uh, real electrostatic discharge don't have uh, twenty amperes, why you show it in on your picture? Uh, this is uh, amplitude uh, was chosen uh, for example. Uh, we mm, uh, only for example why not uh, mega ampere um, our system uh, is uh, linear uh, it is um, uh, um, uh, if uh, we uh, cho uh, if we choose uh, uh, electrostatic discharge with uh, uh, amplitude uh, for mega amperes uh, uh, our lines um, decompose the peak of burst uh, uh, um, of electrostatic discharge uh, um, decompose uh, in um, increased by uh, 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 in the same uh, times uh, uh, that uh, twenty amperes. Well, I think you should be used uh, real values that uh, uh, can be uh, applied in uh, real situation, but not uh, some hypothetical. Uh, this is study. Um, uh, <coughs> the study is the first uh, stage of a big study uh, of triple model derivation, and we. Um, we uh, choose uh, such uh, uh, excitation uh, f for uh, preliminary uh, studies. Uh, maybe in real life it's not so big, and uh, maybe in real ri life it's not so important how you can say. Uh, no, I disagree with you because. Uh, uh, mm, mm, uh, the study uh, shows uh, that uh, we can um, we can use this line uh, for uh, model reservation, and we can see that uh, this line uh, dis um, decreased uh, by. Uh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. it's it, uh, decreased it, um, and uh, divided. Uh, mm -hmm. it's, it's it's okay. I, I understand, but uh, maybe in real life the input ultra short pulse. Have uh, the amplitude some microvolts, uh, and it's not important. You cannot say what's a real source of ultra short pulses. Okay, it's. I think it's a good discussion. But Thank you. Uh, uh, we should continue it after our mm -hmm. conference, maybe in Russian, and uh, after that we will understand. Thank you. So thank you for your report. Uh, I think 
That's all. No questions. Yes. So thank you. <laughs> Around 2010, there was an increasing demand for 4G networks. I had some big concerns regarding LTE. Vodafone Germany is operating four networks. Unfortunately, the worst case would be to add now with LTE network number 5, LTE 800 and network number 6, LTE 2.6. 原来传统的建网发射的话都是重复建设所以成本也很高维护也很复杂 So we talked with our customers again to see if we could combine 2G, 3G and 4G network equipment into a single unit. That's when single RAM was developed. According to our customers, this was a very attractive technological invention. Our vision is giving all of our customers two years from now broadband data coverage where we do have voice coverage today, that means country -wide. In 2010, the 4G LTE 800 MHz commercial service was first launched in Germany. The 800 MHz spectrum is best suited for the vast countrysides of Europe. In this so-called white spots, outside, in the countryside, in the small villages of Germany, hey, now it's really fast internet in my hands. The next reporter is uh, Natalia Tarasenko, and uh, I'm not an actor of uh, this work. I'm just uh, a member of the research team that deal with um, different antenna systems in our Cyber State Technical University. Uh, and here um, I'm as a speaker. So to, uh, I mainly deal with uh, uh, Quasi Yagi dual band antennas, uh, and one of these antennas will be presented today too. Uh, the main problem of uh, presented study is a uh, possible configuration of the radio frequency energy harvesting systems. It's such a very interesting branch of radio transmitted and radio uh, <laughs> received devices. Uh, which can be used as uh, wireless power supply systems in hard-to-access regions. For example, to supply uh, drones, uh, which is used for uh, geological uh, exploring uh, when a device um, is uh, flying a few days long in the air. So we can transmit the radio signal to, to a drone, uh, then transform this signal um, to a power to supply a drone. Uh, for such purposes, we collect all our recent work together to make um, a rectina and uh, radio frequency energy harvesting. So the first part of the presentation deals with uh, dual band, dual band quasi Yagi antenna uh, with end fed. Uh, such antenna used as a radiation pattern in 8 to 8 Butler matrix. And it has a small dimension. It has a very good matching characteristics. Very short, uh, uh, very sharp diagram. And um, okay. Uh, so here we can see. Um, uh, the radiation pattern at two frequencies, uh, one, uh, 0 0.9 and 1.66 gigahertz, and also matching characteristics of the antenna and um, 3D diagrams um, at both frequency bands. So moreover, uh, this antenna works at two frequencies simultaneously. Uh, the second part of the presentation deals with um, uh, matching network modernization in broadband erectness of radio frequency energy harvesting. The antenna impedance can be reconfigured to the needed value and provides a complex matching with the input impedance of uh, uh, drone rectifier. The configuration is made by using the additional uh, relatively short phase delay strip line in one channel of the balloon, as shown in the picture. Uh, as a result, the imaginary part of the complex input impedance of the dipole antenna significantly varies uh, to the negative part. 
As an example, um, there is a block scheme of the antenna which is used as a rectifier antenna, uh, and such antenna can be used with different wireless power transmitter devices and different types of diodes. Uh, the deep investigation of uh, rectifier antenna is not included into the, this work, and this is the theme of uh, our future study. The third part of presentation deals with 808 Butler matrix and the first area uh, which is based on this matrix. As a, um, uh, uh, so this uh, matrix was previously detailed and investigated in our uh, works, uh, and just a few days uh, before that, uh, one of the authors of uh, uh, this uh, article uh, defended his PhD degree uh, and the theme of his work exactly was uh, this first array. Uh, so uh, there is a topology of uh, this array and some characteristics, and also there are a few uh, diagrams of uh, this array. So as a result, using all parts of this article together, we can uh, make our uh, systems uh, which will be used for wireless power supply, and I hope in the next year we can uh, present it today, uh, uh, present it on this conference. Thank you. Uh, thank you for your report. Do, do you have any questions? Okay. Uh, at first, uh, thank you. Uh, it's, uh, it's very interesting work, uh, but um, at first, uh, I want to know why you call this uh, antenna quasi Yagi, uh, how it differs from the typical Yagi antenna. And uh, 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 I hear that uh, one of uh, your team or uh, from your university, they also. Um, a proposed and uh, antenna which is uh, fed from the two sides uh, but uh, so now uh, i am interested how you fed uh, this one um, this this is my question too. thank you uh, so this antenna is fed um, also it's end fed antenna uh, uh, to to different size it's not a center fit antenna uh, yes um, that's why it's very suitable for fast air implementation. Uh, so we have a central fit uh, dual band quasi Yagi antennas. And why it's quasi Yagi? Because it's uh, not a classical Yagi antenna when we use um, a classical um, view of this antenna. It's, um, I don't know, but in uh, the lecture, um, there are a lot of uh, exactly uh, uh, that's naming of the sentence. <laughs> Thank you for your answer. No question. Uh, okay. Uh, is it really quasi? Is it really Yagi antenna or uh, just a dipole on the conducting plate? Uh, yes, on this slide it's just a uh, uh, dipole. Uh, antenna, but um, we have um, uh, a real uh, fast array with exactly uh, not uh, dipole but Yagi antenna. Uh, it's just <laughs> not my presentation, so that's why. Mm. Uh, that. uh, yes, uh, here is um, uh, just a uh, dipole. Okay. Uh, it's an element of uh, antenna array. Yes. Yes. And uh, next slide. And this, uh, next. Uh, oh, uh, and uh, it's a um, power divider for that element. No, it's a uh, rectifying antenna, which uh, will uh, rectify our signal to the power for supply a drone. We connect this antenna with uh, a number of rectifying diodes uh, to rectify signal and transform it to energy. It's an element of uh, Butler matrix? No, 
it's it's antenna that will be uh, suited on a drone as a as a rectifying antenna. Okay, and this element uh, and uh, the topology on the some of next slides. Where it, it's element? Uh, nowhere. It's transmission antenna for transmitting signal, and uh, and this antenna is uh, set on drone, which in the air as a receiving antenna. Receiving antenna. Yes. And uh, the first topology is the element of uh, antenna array that in the next slide. Yes. Ah. Okay. And the frequencies of dual uh, bands antenna, uh, the previous slide. Yes. It's uh, 0 0.9 and uh, 1.6. Uh, can you uh, choose these uh, frequencies? Yes, yes, we can choose it uh, by choosing length of our uh, dipole elements. Okay, uh, Butler matrix sizes. Uh, it's dividers. Uh, yes, yes. Um, so I think that possible why not i don't know why they choose exactly these um, frequencies but i think that yes it's possible so for for for, for other uh, frequencies uh, the butler matrix will be, will be other changed. and the um, symmetric device too uh, i think that yes it will be changed not maybe too much. Why you choose uh, uh, these frequencies? Uh, first of all, it was uh, the antenna. And I think that uh, this matrix uh, was uh, calculating for these frequencies. Before, the first uh, was the antenna. <laughs> That's why. So you... Uh, developed a topology and for this topology you uh, take these frequencies and uh, yes uh, if you have a first frequencies then uh, how you uh, calculate antenna uh, the antenna is very easy to calculate for any frequencies um, uh, to uh, 0 0.6 gigahertz to 3 gigahertz. It's uh, okay. Thank you. Thank you for your report. Thank you. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Artem Vedev. Today I would like to talk about studying the propagation of an ultra-short pulse in a cable attached to a PCB system with model reservation. Uh, redundancy with the call standby is one on, <coughs> is on of the methods for increasing the reliability of radio electronics equipment at the early stages of design. The call standby allows obtaining system with the highest reliability, but with a low availability factor. Redundancy is usually used in cables and PCBs. Sorry. And PCBs. Uh, well known is model reservation with uh, combines both redundancy to ensure reliability and the effect of model fil filtering to protect against ultra-short pulse. This is achieved by implement implementing redundancy with the call standby in uh, with the reserved and redundant circuits form a model filter. M meanwhile, model reservation. 
reduce the size uh, redundant, uh, redundant and uh, resolved system using model reservation. It is possible to achieve a decrease in the sensitivity of the circuit's ender. Consideration to external uh, conducted emissions and uh, decrease in the level of conducted emission from these circuits, the approach of attaching cables to various PCB structures has not been uh, previously considered. The purpose of the work is to present the results, uh, results of st studies of the ultra-short push propagation in the system where cable is attached to a PCB with model reservation. Um, in figure one, you can see the uh, cross-section uh, of a flat cable and PCB with the end and for, uh, front electromagnetic couplings. Uh, the values of the cross-section parameters are shown on the slide. Um, the values of the cross-section parameters of a flat cable and PCB with and, uh, and front, uh, front electromagnetic couplings are select taking into account the implementation of the model reservation and they are present as an example. Um, in figure two, you can see the schematic diagram of the flat cable. Uh, the schematic diagram of this uh, flat cable um, with different connection of the re reference conductors. Resistor three and uh, uh, resistor three and four added uh, to the circuit to consider galvanic coupling of the reserved and um, uh, redundant circuits. Uh, their values depend on the connection of the support conductors at the ends of the flat cable. Uh, um, the schematic diagram. Uh, of the cable to board system that con consists of flat cable and PCB section of lens L1 and uh, L2 um, respectively the value of the uh, resistor at the ends was set equal to 50 ohm mm. <clears throat> Uh, this slide shows the wire, form, mm, wire forms at the near and the far ends of the active conductor in the structure with the model reservation. When connecting the reference conductors, the difference between these cases in the common signal amplitude um, reaches on one and a half time. Um, the uh, response delays of the mods uh, correspond to line ones. How, um, however, uh, to line, however, uh, pulses with delays tau two and tau three uh, merge into one pulse since the difference in is less than uh, duration of the input pulse. Um, the, in figure four, figure four, um, you can see the de dependence of uh, delta T on L1 divided on L1 plus L2. For the cable to board system with the end, Electromagnetic coupling uh, when the enter length is occupied by a segment with cross section from figure 1b. In this case, when the length of the first part of the total length is equal to 0 0.32, 
the delay difference about uh, about zero. Uh, thus, the ADM uh, and the end electromagnetic complete structure is an antipod for a give cable. The antipod is the selection of um, couple, complete line in which the difference in the delays of the uh, common and uh, differential modes are uh, opposite in sign. Uh, on the slide you you can see the conclusion. Uh, thank you for attention. So thank you for your report. Do you have any questions? Yes, you you can show us your results. Do you have? Um, ah, okay, everything is okay. So, uh, any questions? No questions. Скажите, пожалуйста, вы толгат используете для моделирования? Каким образом? Вот у меня все время вопрос возникает. Параметры выбираются этих модальных фильтров из каких соображений? Обоснования? Ничего не говорится. Uh, we know that uh, you use Talgat, but uh, how you choose parameters uh, that you uh, use in uh, in model? Let's discuss this question later, please. It's a very long question, and uh, we have a few time, so discuss it later, maybe. Thank you for your report. Good afternoon, dear participants of the conference. My name is Isindira Sagiva. I present to you a report, uh, my report on model filters based on microstrip line with overheat conductors grounded at both ends. Um, <clears throat> this slide shows the outline of my report, which consists of introduction, simulation results, conclusion. Microstrip lines are massively used to transmit electrical signals and power to various elements of electrical circuits. The most famous is a general microstrip line. The disadvantage of such microstrip line configuration is that it does not provide protection against ultra-short ultra pulses. Due to the fact in real operating conditions, the performance of electronic equipment is frequently reduced under the influence of electromagnetic interference. Nanosecond of nanosecond pulses are especially dangerous because they can penetrate electronic equipment by passing protection devices and impair the operation of electrical circuits. Non-protection devices such as EMI filters, gas discharges, semiconductor limiters, search suppressors have a number of disadvantages such as large dimensions, higher cost, low radiation resistance due to semiconductor elements, slow response time. Wherefore, the, the search for new protection device is relevant. It is uh, much simpler in circuit design and manufacturing to use ultra-short pulse uh, protection device called a model filters in which in the Interference pulse is decomposed in uh, a segment of the couplet line into modes, each of which propagates uh, which its own delay, so that uh, the model filters output pulses have smaller amplitude. Uh, the essential advantage of uh, model filters are its low weight, increased reliability, radiation resistance, and high speed. In, tur uh, in turn, which certain values of parameters and modifications can have the properties of model filters. Therefore, this work is devoted to the study of microstrip line with grounded conductors from above, which have the properties of a model filters. Sorry. 
This slide shows a cross-section cross axiomatic diagram of a uh, microstripline with a grounding conductor, as well as the form of electromagnetic force of the ultra-short pulse source and also the parameter are given. And, uh, and this slide shows the same thing only for the microstripline structure with two uh, grounded conductors. This slide, uh, this slide shows uh, a set of per unit length uh, electromagnetic and electrostatic line induction matrices calculated in the total gas system. The square root of uh, eigenvalues of a product of the uh, determinable values of uh, per unit length delays of modes propagation in, in the line. Uh, similar results were obtained for a structure consisting of two grounded conductors. Um, this is confirmed by the calculate, calculated for voltage waveforms at the beginning and the end of the signal con conductor shown in figure. On can they at no two zero and air pulses with a, an interval of about 2.4 nanosecond between the equ and equal amplitudes of about uh, uh, 1.2 uh, volt. Uh, to validate uh, the results, it is, uh, it is useful to compare when if the results obtained using over a approach to search as an analytical model. The microstripline design uh, with one grounded wire considered as uh, an example. The results obtained earlier by the numerical method and analytical according to are shown in figure, in figure on the amplitudes and delays of the pulses. The model filter output are summarized in table. As can be seen from a table, the forms of the pulse voltage considered in delay, amplitude, and polarity. Thus, the reliability uh, of the results obtained for this model filter uh, it is uh, confirmed by the analytical model. Uh, this slide presents uh, the main findings of the work. Uh, the submitted two applications for uninventions. And as also in view future, it is planned to conduct an experimental confirmation of her performance studies. Thank you for attention. Okay, thank you for your report. Um, okay, let's ask a question. Um, can you ask your question in English and after that translate into Russian? Uh, thank you for your nice presentation. Uh, there are a lot of presentations related to modal filters I've seen today. So the question is about your analytical formula. Can you show the slide with analytical expression, analytical formula? Uh, Maybe the two slides behind, eight, eight number. Slides in. So you have some backup slides about, okay. There are a lot of numbers, as I can see. In the mathematical world, Yes. Yes. And you want to know what does uh, they mean? What how they mean? did they been got? So how you calculate these numbers? Системе получается для сравнения с полученными данными, которым получили системе Талгат, мы в Аткаде использовали аналитическую модель. Конкретно для, для, на примере для одной линии, когда заземлен, то есть, про, то есть полигоны, то есть, или как правильно сказать, проводник заземлен один, то есть верхний. А, вот, используя эту модель, и здесь представлена формула выражения, как они выводились. То есть все данные, вычисленные данные были взяты согласно а, входным параметрам, и что мы получили из матрицы LC при вычислении системы Талгат, ввели ее систему мат, а, ну, в МАТКАТ, И согласно этим формулам мы получили результаты. То есть в конце выражение было представлено чисто э, согласно 
входным параметром. Uh, we use Talgat and Matgat. Thank you. It's clear. Thank you very much for your question. Do you have more questions? I hope no. Yes, thank you for your report. It was very, very interesting. So thank you. Good luck. Hello, my name is Valery is uh, Barnin. Um, I am post uh, graduate student. And today I am present to reports uh, instead of my colleague uh, Roman Hajibekov. Uh, let's start uh, my first job called uh, Radiation of Radio Pulses Excited in a nonlinear transmission line with uh, per degree 100 diets based on Galia Arsenicum. The development of means for generated electromagnetic pulses is an actual and promising task, a source of uh, short uh, electromagnetic pulses with sub nanosecond front uh, used in uh, powerful electromagnetic emitters and uh, radar, radar equipment. Semiconductor dyes can serve as uh, key elements um, for sharpening sub nanosecond front, uh, for example, uh, Gallia arsenicum as diet. Um, I love sharpening the pulse from, from 300 uh, to 1.5 nanosecond and uh, voltage of uh, 700 voltage. The development of an uh, installation for uh, emission um, uh, of pulses um, excited in a nonlinear transmission line with uh, periodically located diets uh, based on uh, Galliar Senecum. Uh, structure and the measurement of uh, the level of uh, the received radiation is a actual task. Uh, to simulate a nonlinear transmission line in uh, CSTA Microwave Studio, um, figure 8a, uh, a coaxial line with a corrugate center condition uh, with a resistance of uh, 10 ohms. Uh, was shown uh, it uh, simulation uh, the front of the initial pulse was set uh, to uh, 200 picosecond. Uh, in uh, this case, uh, the maximum output value of the um, uh, amplitude of high frequency oscillation at a frequency of about one gigahertz uh, is about of uh, uh, 30% and uh, blue curve. And um, uh, consider the limited capacitance of the diet of um, 30 picofarads. Uh, the amplitude is 20% uh, uh, right curve. Um, the generator of high frequency oscillation in a nonlinear transmission line can be explained by the synchronity of the velocity of the shock wave and the fast velocity of the oscillation at uh, excitation frequency. Next, uh, there on slide um, you can see the appearance of uh, the EMP generator and uh, consists of uh, one uh, EMP generation uh, sinus 160 uh, two uh, coaxial line and uh, three and um, nonlinear transmission line. Uh, the manufacturer nonlinear line in similar to simulate on uh, figure 3B. Next, um, uh, there on the slide, oh, pardon. Um, in our experiment, there we have. Um, Seven nine in uh, Figure four eight, which were installed in series in the corrugate condition section, the remaining three sections were short circuited uh, with jumpers. Uh, the measured voltage level before and after the nonlinear line, when operating into um, ten ohms, matched load at the shown in Figure B. 
uh, the generator oscillation frequency in the order of um, 0 0.85 gigahertz um, the um, emitter with a canonical helicant antenna figure 5 uh, 5a uh, which a uh, characteristic radiation polarization closer to circular and a wide frequency range its parameter a calculated use antenna theory and uh, the state optimization and uh, con transformer with a uh, characteristic impedance from um, 12.7 uh, ohms to 95 ohms uh, is installed and uh, antenna all put in a coaxial waveguide. Uh, this is slide um, show the calculated uh, frequency depends of the reflection coefficient as uh, 1 1 uh, of antenna uh, in figure 6a uh, at a frequency of um, 0 0.8 to 0 0.9 uh, gigahertz uh, the value s11 is about negative uh, um, 20 decibel um, uh, this uh, generator frequency, the antenna has a excitable gain and the low reflection. Uh, no uh, photos of uh, manufacturer antenna uh, B, C, E, D. Next, uh, to measure the emission of the excited radio pulse into an open space, the circuit shown in uh, Figure 7, the distance uh, from the transmit to the receiving antenna was 2.2 uh, uh, meter. Uh, the receiving antenna is a half-life vibration, figure of SM8 at uh, a frequency of uh, 0.85 gigahertz uh, with an effective absorb area of 50 millimeters power 2. Uh, to is, uh, this. Uh, Next, uh, uh, the measurement of the voltage waveform from uh, receiving antenna was performed on an oscilloscope with a 6 gigahertz bandwidth. Uh, the result sh uh, shapes uh, show in figure 9. Uh, from graph we see the signal amplitude um, if uh, uh, 23 voltage. Um, uh, with a oscillation frequency of um, 1530 uh, MHz. Uh, to calculate the effect potential formula 2, we used formulas uh, 1, um, taking into account the resistance, or resistance of the oscilloscope into 50 ohms. We obtain the effect of potential equal to 2.1 kV. In conclusion, uh, a device for generating radio pulses was developed and manufactured on the base on non-linear transmission line with periodically located uh, gallium arsenic dies. VIF has a uh, small dimension, high frequency, and amplitude of generated oscillation. Uh, the effective potential of the system uh, 2.1 kilovolts has been uh, reached uh, with the radiation of radio pulses from the set. In future studies, uh, it uh, is planned uh, to increase the effective potential by improving the design of the generator and emitter radio pulses. Thank you for your attention. Okay, uh, do you want to continue and uh, re report your next research or firstly you want to uh, answer no. the question? No, answer uh, the question. Uh, question. Okay, uh, what question do you have? And do you have any question? Okay. What's the time realization of ultra short uh, pulses that you were generated? Uh, why uh, made ultra short pul pulses? Uh, uh, you present a generator for ultra short pulses. What uh, time uh, realization of ultra of generated ultra short pulses? Uh, during uh, pulses, 
Engineer-ita. Uh, uh, Equal, Lending, Coaxial uh, Line in the uh, charge uh, uh, transformation Tesla. Uh, no, 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 no. Do you have any picture uh, with the time realization of uh, ultra short pulses? Where in the horizontal is time, and in the vertical is uh, voltage. Ah. Okay. Um, uh, what of these pulses you were generated? No. Uh, this is uh, generated uh, pulses, uh, uh, and uh, 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 which of these three? Uh, uh, I understand um, this. Uh, uh, which of these is uh, this from the output of your generator? The generator of high frequency oscillation in a nonlinear transmission line can be explained by the synchronity of velocity of shock wave and the fast velocity of oscillation at the excitation frequency. It's not an, an answer. Uh, can you show me which of these three is the output from your generator? Uh, uh, three. Um, uh, uh, this uh, in out or input uh, to uh, pulse uh, uh, transmission, nonlinear transmission line and output uh, um, you have a three simulation. In, on the right uh, uh, picture, you this, have this uh, simulation, says the Microsoft Studio. Okay. Uh, you simulated uh, your generator. Yeah. Uh, which of these pulses is the output of generator? Uh, two and uh, three. Oh, okay. Of, two, uh, and two and three. Okay. Uh, and two. What is spectre? Continue. Spectre. Uh, spectre? I'm not uh, modeling spectre. Uh, I, I say you what is spectre. It's uh, Syncos. Uh, uh, synthesis time domain, uh, time uh, modeling. Uh, time domain, it's, it's uh, but and spectral, it's synchronous. Uh, and the main lobe is uh, on the zero frequency. Mm. Yeah, Kay. no. Then show me S11 for your antenna. <laughs> S11. Ah, oh, right. Okay, and the main lobe of your synchos is uh, not radiated. The main lobe then S11 equal zero. Um, uh, not uh, this uh, attempts, uh, attempts modulation, calculation, and um, zero uh, 85. Gigahertz, um, uh, because uh, for modulating uh, this uh, input pulse one and uh, output pulse um, uh, no nonlinear uh, line you want and uh, and uh, generating uh, RF pulses uh, this. You won't radiate uh, ultra short pulse all or only this modulation. And uh, modulation uh, we uh, dispersion line generated. Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, try to be simple. 
what is the purpose of this uh, generator? Purpose? Why? Why? What? Where it is applicable? Application? The application. Uh, uh, application. Uh, application. This uh, generator and um, test uh, challenge electronics and uh, dual location and um, wire pons application and uh, electromagnetic uh, impact uh, and uh, quadcopters and uh, jets and other. Am, am i clear am i clear that uh, am i right that you designed the generator to test the model filters which were a lot of presented today um, can it be used to test the filters model filters um, uh, i am not uh, uh, teams uh, silence uh, model filters uh, and uh, uh, this uh, device uh, in the um, uh, pulse power uh, uh, pulse power energy uh, for breakdown uh, surface and uh, breakdown uh, and uh, micro strips lines for uh, high um, high так все уже забыл большие поля короче сейчас ну но not used модуля модуль фильтра thank you Okay, thank you for your answers. I think now we can listen your next research, yes? Yeah. Uh -huh. Should we open another presentation, yes? Uh, my next report uh, is uh, called Simulation of uh, Helical Antenna with a resistor for radiating powerful microwave pulses. Uh, elements of the work at present system for generating powerful microwave pulses uh, at the burning actively developed. Uh, in this regard, there is a need uh, to improve the emitters uh, of uh, such pulses. Now, antennas of uh, have a number of um, disadvantages, such as uh, large sites uh, and high reflectance. The task of uh, minimizing uh, the reflection of the video pulse from the antenna in the XLT especially urgent. Uh, science such uh, pulses cannot be radiated into space and being reflected from the antenna harms the generator. Therefore, is it um, important to develop an antenna of a simple design with a minimal di dimension and video pulses reflection. Antenna design with a connected resistor between an uh, end to a spiral and the uh, outer uh, condition of the coaxial cable is proposed. Um, uh, is uh, this design the resistor dissipates, uh, dissipates uh, the energy of uh, the video pulse with minimized uh, reflection? It uh, is proposed to use a dielectric compound and a filling material to for material for the spiral. It should be not um, that this uh, technology has already been worked out by the author of the article in uh, practice. At the important point uh, is that due to use of the compound by minimizing uh, the effect wave landing, the anti landing uh, is less than uh, 7 cm. On this slide, uh, you can see the shape of the generated radio pulses in a nonlinear line, and these voltage waveforms that uh, will be used in the system microwave simulation. Uh, expression um, for calculating the geometric parameters of the spiral uh, air present 
have C um, uh, and the uh, landing of the loop perimeter D um, uh, is the diameter of the spiral and S is um, uh, it uh, is pitch. The spiral consists of only on a term. Um, formulas I provide for composition composition are only so in our case the spiral geometry was obtained by uh, characteristic search uh, manual optimization is systemic archive studio from the table uh, we see that the parameters obtained by optimization differ from the recommended uh, ons this slide uh, shows the radiator patterns at uh, the operating frequency of um, 1.60 uh, gigahertz. It can uh, be seen from the slide that uh, for horizontal and uh, vertical parallelization. Um, uh, the radiation patterns a uh, close that uh, is the radiation polarization is so close to circular um, the gain is uh, 7.3 decibel um, uh, piece material uh, with a given linear conductivity was used um, uh, as a resistor, the optimal conductivity value uh, 60 Siemens um, uh, per meter uh, was obtained by optimization by the method of uh, task region in the system microwave studio. Optimization uh, parameter A present in table. Figure 6 show that B connected the resistor. Uh, it uh, was possible to reduce reflection and uh, low frequency from zero to uh, negative uh, 32. Uh, uh, this uh, figure. Uh, the effect, uh, effective radiation potential from the proposed antenna in, in, in uh, 4.2 kilovolts, um, figure 8. Uh, figure 7 8 also shows the uh, depends of the electric field strange at a distance of uh, 5 meter. Um, this as uh, a work proposed um, this is work proposed an antenna with minimal reflection of radio pulses due to connection of a resistor the result of optimization of the coil uh, and resistor uh, Present uh, the use of uh, the compound made it possible to achieve small dimension of the antenna. In future, it uh, is planned to use uh, the antenna on an elements of uh, the antenna array. Thank you for your attention. Your question. And thank you for your presentation. Uh, okay. Achum. Can you please uh, open the structure of your antenna? Mm. Uh, uh, first of all, I want to ask uh, why you choose to put uh, the electric uh, on the top of the antenna? Uh, why uh, you uh, let it uh, open? It's not uh, better for the signal propagation. Uh, for what purpose? And the uh, second, uh, second question <laughs> at the last slide, please. Last slide. Ah. Purple more. Uh, what do you mean by uh, low frequency and radiated frequency? What's the difference here? Can you explain for interest for me? Thank you. Uh, okay. Um, um, uh, uh, low frequency uh, this um, range zero to uh, zero to um, uh, seven hundred uh, megahertz, uh, and um, uh, this. Um, 
uh, arrange uh, and um, equation, equation uh, during uh, video pulse and uh, um, um, direct energy uh, pulses. Uh, uh, this uh, integral um, and um, uh, absorb uh, energy and uh, reflection, uh, no, not uh, reflection uh, generated. Uh, and um, uh, one uh, question uh, and uh, uh, this uh, used. Um, compound uh, and uh, epsilon equation 3.5 uh, and um, uh, uh, this um, uh, shorting uh, and um, uh, alt uh, continuity and um, uh, central uh, continuity and uh, 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 resistor. Okay, thank you for your answer. Okay. Uh, input resistance is uh, 18 ohms. Uh, why is this? Uh, uh, input resistance, uh, uh, this uh, case um, and the uh, equation. Uh, uh, just a moment, please. 50 ohms? No, no. 18. Ah. That way, 18 ohms. Ah. Uh, and, um, ah, um, uh, I'm sorry, uh, this is um, 50 ohms at uh, um, coaxial, coaxial line transmission and um, non-linear transmission line. Uh, uh, this is case um, uh, you um, you prove uh, um, uh, and um, uh, 80 ohms uh, and uh, uh, used uh, um, uh, transmission uh, impedance form uh, Con coaxial and um, uh, previous um, report, and th this um, creating um, uh, other uh, special uh, um, transformation uh, impedance uh, coaxial in um, uh, coaxial line, and. Uh, 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 Okay, uh, what's the polarization of uh, radiated uh, electromagnetic field? Mm. Or, uh, what did you want uh, to po uh, to get? A polar what polarization do you want to get? Uh, no, and um, circuit polarization and. Uh, uh, because uh, in this uh, conical uh, forms antennas. Ah, pardon. No. Uh, you want to circle polarization? Yeah. Uh, why not linear? Uh, um, uh, this is uh, uh, neat. Uh, because um, from uh, uh, impact uh, electronics uh, and uh, and more uh, line and vertical and uh, random uh, okay, thank you. <laughs> orientation. Uh, well, we have um, one more question. Uh, I just want to ask, uh, do you have um, a real antenna or is it just a model? Uh, 
this uh, not uh, real antenna, uh, this and uh, model. And um, uh, future, uh, this uh, produce, uh, make, make uh, this antenna from okay. uh, in um, uh, my investigation. Thank you. And one more question. Uh, what kind, in one kind of uh, fast array do we want to implement this antenna? I mean, uh, I think that uh, the main lobe of your diagram is very wide. Maybe it could be more sharp? Um, I'm uh, <laughs> this uh, not modeling, I'm uh, this question. I'm on Okay, thank you. I'm not, not um, knowledge. Ah. Uh, this is application. Ah. No, no, this is application. Um, it's uh, uh, electromagnetic radiation of electronics, uh, where phones carry <laughs> quadracopter and fly. Sajum. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think uh, we should finish. Our yeah. questions, yes. So thank you for your report. Thank you for your resource. Uh, thank you for your attention. Okay. <laughs>华为车的负责人当时就是我。二零零七年年初的时候，我们当时一直在讨论华为和沃达丰之间的联合创新计划。当会议快结束的时候，沃达丰客户突然提出了一个命题：这是一个跨时代的创新，双方应该努力的往这
designed to evaluate the shielding effectiveness of uh, complex uh, multi-layer shielding materials. Uh, thus, the goals of this work are to develop an analytical model for calculating the shielding effectiveness of uh, multi-layer uh, composites and to create a software prototype for quick evaluation of shielding materials, material properties. Uh, a uniform uh, plane shield of thickness T exposed to a plane wave uh, can be represented as a segment of two-wire transmission line of length T with a characteristic impedance Z and the propagation constant K. Uh, based on the equivalence of uh, telegraphers equations and Maxwell's equations for harmonic oscillations, uh, voltages in the line uh, are used to calculate the shielding effectiveness in this model. If the shield is made of uh, N layers, uh, then it's replaced by a cascading connection of uh, N line segments. To calculate currents and uh, voltages, the ABCD parameters of a uh, four terminal network was used. Uh, in the general case, uh, for a set of uh, line segments, uh, the matrix of ABCD parameters is defined as in formula number one. Uh, also, uh, you can see on the slide the characteristic impedance and uh, the propagation constant for the nth layer of uh, composite and how it uh, could be calculated. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, taking into account uh, reflections at the boundaries between uh, polymer composite layers, uh, the shielding effectiveness of multilayer material is uh, determined on the basis one to three as in Formula 4. Uh, formula four. Uh, thus, using expressions uh, 1 to 4, the shielding effectiveness can be calculated for any plane uh, polymer composite uh, with arbitrary electrophysical parameters and the number of layers. Uh, to validate the models, calculation of uh, the shielding effectiveness were performed for six different uh, polymer composites in the range in the range of 0 to 5 gigahertz. In these calculations, we were comparing the results obtained by the proposed analytical model and uh, the full wave simulation based on the finite difference time domain method, FDTD method. The calculations by the FD FDTD method uh, used an uh, electrodynamic model uh, of the improved uh, coaxial cell design designed for measuring non-conductive shielding material uh, samples in accordance with STM standards. Uh, the side view of uh, this cell uh, is shown on the slide. Uh, graphs uh, from uh, A to D uh, show the shielding effectiveness of four single layer uh, polymer composites samples with a thickness of uh, two millimeters and uh, electrophysical parameters shown on, on the right side of the slide. Uh, it can be seen that uh, the shielding effectiveness dependencies uh, calculated by the analytical model and the DTD method are in good agreement, and the average value of the absolute error doesn't exceed uh, 0 0.4 decibels. In the next step, uh, using the proposed analytical model, uh, and the full wave FDTD simulation, uh, the shielding effectiveness was calculated for two layer uh, polymer composite samples with uh, electrophysical parameters shown on the right side of the slide. Uh, the thickness of each uh, layer was two millimeters. Uh, the obtained frequency dependency of the shielding effectiveness uh, are presented on graphs A and B. Uh, in this case, uh, the results are also in good agreement, uh, and the average value of the absolute error uh, doesn't exceed uh, 0 0.3 decibels. Uh, on the next step, uh, uh, the prototype of the software was developed. Uh, the software is based on the C++ programming lang language and uh, designed using the Qt uh, development environment and its built-in three-dimensional visualization models. Uh, the graphical interface of the prototype uh, is a combination of tabs that correspond uh, to the generalized algorithm of the program uh, presented on the block diagram. Mm -hmm. 
For analytical models uh, that implement exposure in the far field, uh, the results are displayed as a two-dimensional dependence of the shielding effectiveness on frequency. A distinctive feature of uh, this program, this prototype, is the ability to display the shielding effectiveness in three dimensions uh, in relation to the frequency and distance uh, between the exposure source and the shield for calculations in the near field. Uh, you can see the example of a three-dimensional display of the shielding effectiveness on the slide, on the left side of the slide. Uh, to make the work with the program uh, more convenient, uh, a li library containing the electrophysical parameters of typical uh, materials used to manufacture electromagnetic shields uh, was created. The interface of the library um, of the library window is shown on the right side of the slide. Uh, the available materials are displayed in the table located in the center of the window. At the user's request, a new element can be added to the library. Uh, as a result of this work, we proposed uh, an analytical model for evaluating the shielding effectiveness of polymer composite materials uh, with an arbitrary number of layers, N. It's, it was validated on the example of six samples of materials with different mu, epsilon, and N. It was proved uh, that the developed model has acceptable accuracy. Uh, a software prototype for analyzing the properties of typical uh, typical shielding materials was developed, uh, including its uh, own library of uh, metals and uh, composites, uh, polymer composites used in the manufacturing of electromagnetic shields. Thank you for your attention. I'm ready to ask your questions. Thank you for your report. Uh, do you have any questions? Uh, shield effectiveness, it's... Uh, Characteristics that uh, show uh, uh, reflection coefficients. Mm. Mm. Yes. If I uh, understand your question, thank you for your question. If I understand it right, uh, I could ask yes. Mm -hmm. uh, how did you uh, Ah, how did you contain the synthesis of uh, material? Uh, we, um, in this work, uh, uh, we used uh, some uh, old papers and uh, to, um, I think, uh, to understand that uh, our uh, results are uh, Real, uh, we uh, try to um, use uh, uh, some old works, not not only the one work. Uh, and uh, in uh, some papers, uh, we found uh, thickness ab uh, about two millimeters, and uh, use this uh, parameter. Uh, for see. other things, uh, no, right now we uh, all results are beyond on the slide. We didn't. Uh, try uh, another thickness, only two millimeters. Okay, thank you. Uh, tell me please, uh, did you mm -hmm. did you do the math or the code? Uh, this is the first qu uh, question. And the second, uh, can you uh, show us the object that uh, built in, in your uh, presentation? Uh, uh, thank you for questions, I didn't. Your structure. What should I show you? The object, the under research, yeah. Uh, why did you choose only this object and uh, how it will be in your uh, software? Uh, we couldn't see it. We, you said that uh, you use um, another software, but in your soft software, how we can uh, sim model modeling uh, this object? Thank you for your question. Uh, first of all, uh, my part of uh, this work was uh, to develop a, a prototype of a program. So analytical model is uh, uh, not my part, so that's all. Uh, and about uh, this object, uh, uh, 
I guess that don't really understand how to ask on this question. Maybe we can discuss it later. Uh, that's all. Yeah. Oh. Почему такой диапазон от нуля до пяти гигагерц у вас шесть различных вы там рассматриваете, да? In range, вот этот. Uh, as I uh, said earlier, that uh, was uh, not really my part. Uh, I used this uh, analytical model and then uh, made a prototype of a program. So I don't really know why uh, such range of uh, why such parameters was used. Like, uh, I can say that we can try to uh, make uh, take another parameters in the future and. Uh, Maybe get, uh, get some theory. results that will be interesting. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you for your report and thank you for your answers. My name is Margarita Areshkina. My theme is simulation of land plata for surveillance radar based on reflected power data set. The first I want to present to general area of my work. This is echo signal simulation. Radar emit an electromagnetic pulses which uh, reflected from surrounding objects uh, received to radar input. Then radar analyze the characteristic of uh, reflected signals and detected the target signals from uh, the clutter. Echo signal simulation is widely used to test this algorithm. In this case, in this case the composition of uh, target signals and clutter forms and uh, is formed and uh, transmitted by special device. This is echo signal simulator. This device generated signal uh, with help special mathematical model with um, the radar performance increasing the accuracy of uh, simulation model need to be increased this report is uh, devoted a computationally efficient way to simulate laid clutter for surveillance later radar the difficulty of uh, eco land clutter simulation is associated to the fact that the land surface is occupies a very big area and the covers is very different to the simulation land clutter as uh, uh, as present as uh, is shown on this figure, uh, land map is used. The modeled area is uh, divided into many sections. Within each of them, the covers is uh, cover is homogeneous. The more section the more difficult calculation are but uh, if the dimension of the section is so much the is so much the the calculation error they are calculation errors Let us consider this uh, standard way to simulation echo ground clutter. In this case, the reflection from section present as a point reflector with um, point reflector which located at its center. The radar cross section of uh, this reflector is sigma d. This expression pr presents uh, 
calculating of power of the signal reflected from area within uh, round range ring. Sigma d is a discrete function which um, present uh, the reflection from a set, a discrete set of uh, point reflection, reflectors. F is uh, a function uh, dependent on the antenna pattern. This function depends on the alpha zero. This is uh, the angle of the center of antenna beam. The moving antenna is a feature of uh, surveillance radar. As we can see, this is a convolution, and uh, on uh, and this slide present the Fourier transform from the expression. G with brief is a Fourier transform from from sigma d function is it is a periodical function f with brief is a fourier transform from phi function theoretical the fourier transform is an infinite but if we introduce a threshold which uh, uh, that the harmonic under this threshold can be neglected, we can find a K1 and K2 frequency. This uh, K1 is the upper frequency in the phi with brief spectra, K2 upper frequency in the first copy of uh, G with brief spectra. So we can find a recruitment to sampling crater for discrete um, sigma d array. But if we analyze the p with brief um, function, we can see that the kp, is, it is the upper frequency of this spectra. kp is uh, lower than k1. If k1 lower than k, less than k2, and kp less than k2 in otherwise this um, thus we have these uh, relationships and these relationships show that the specifying the area of the earth surface with power samples recurs further samples than sampling the area with sigma d samples this uh, slide presents uh, the way to the the simulation method with help PD samples. The first step is the calculated of PD on a given set alpha zero E angles. This angles is a center of antenna pattern. And the sampling rate in this case as presented as previously as is presented as previously slide um, is 2kp and uh, if uh, we need a calculated power uh, when the antenna is not on the given angle we use a low pass filter as, uh, pre as uh, this expression presents h is a impulse response of low pass filter this slide presents a numerical example. We um, modeled uh, um, area surface area which distribution of uh, radar cross section is presented of this figure. In this experiments, we divided this area in 300 uh, round range ring. We seen each of them. We uh, give um, uh, 10,000 samples. To approximate the uh, antenna pattern, we use uh, a Gaussian curve. This slide presents the, presents the result of this experiment. The 
upper figure represents the depending upper frequency in the G with brief spectrum on number of equal range ring. Low frequency presents uh, upper frequency in the P with brief spectrum, spectrum on the number of uh, equal range ring. As we can see, the discrete the sampling rate in uh, for modeling uh, with P with D samples uh, is uh, less. In conclusion, I want to say that the work presents a mathematical modeling of reflected promise effects intended for simulating a radar environment and cost-effective algorithms for generating echo signal based on this model. This uh, simulation model is suitable for echo signal simulator for radar with relatively fast scanning. In this uh, case, the fluctuation of the reflected signal are random process. Thank you for your attention. Uh, thank you for your report. Uh, do you have any questions? Uh, so it's some, some slide where the map around the radar. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, radar is uh, in center of this. Yes, yes. Uh, radar in, in and the uh, uh, some area uh, all black. Uh, what is the area? Area. The uh, the this is. Um, a feature of um, uh, land clutter for low angles. <coughs> there are uh, shadow uh, areas, and is, this is typical for this. Uh, no, shadow areas, it, it's uh, in. In a big distance, uh, it's a uh, shadow, okay. But in center is a black uh, yes, area. Uh, thank you. I understand you. Uh, this is uh, only model. I <coughs> is uh, this is. Uh, special. Special zone. No. <coughs> this is uh, the model. The model was start with this uh, distance, and uh, on this distance, I in program do not uh, do not. Uh, the program is not samples. Mm -hmm. Okay, in a real uh, radar, this black hole uh, exists? In the real radar, start the analysis uh, of uh, reflected signals from uh, any distance. Any from zero to? Zero kilometers to? No, 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 zero kilometers. The, there are the areas which uh, the radar operating is uh, limited. Mm -hmm. And the, okay. this is uh, the zone. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank, thank you. Hello, uh, my name is Kulpa Kirill I'm from Huawei, and I want to ask you uh, what is the radius of this uh, circle zone? In this model is one kilometer, but it is dependent on the radar. It dependent on the 
read the um, walk. Uh, is it possible to uh, increase the radius? Yes, but his radius is bad for radar operation. Okay, because thank in you. this radius, ra radar do not uh, detect it, a target. Yeah, thank you. Um, I'm not a specialist in this field, so I'm just interested in, uh, do we have a real picture of this area? Mm, no, this is uh, from the map. I, mm. I take the map and uh, with special program uh, do this uh, picture. Okay, I just want to know what ground returns with more than uh, minus 50 decibel. It's uh, what kind of uh, ground surface? Mm. I do this to present to the, to presentation to. I mean, to in real life, what it could be? <laughs> it's a mountain, or mm, uh, can you repeat your question? Um, in a real landscape, uh, what kind of ground it could be uh, to provide such a um, point? More than <laughs> minus 15 this Yes. Well, it's uh, any cover. The ground returns uh, around uh, minus 20. Decibel 20, uh, 40 decibel. The, the normalized radar cross section of uh, cover usually is within min minus 20 decibel, minus uh, 40 decibel. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your questions. Uh -huh. Thank you for your answers. Thank you for your report. Uh, thank you for your attention. Next report, uh, Daria Zima. Good afternoon, dear colleagues. Uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Daria Zima. I'm a postgraduate student of uh, North Bay State Technical University. My goal today is to present you the results of my research in the area of uh, investigation and modeling uh, of the special temporal signal recorded by the digital antenna array. Uh, the main task of uh, radar systems for viewing area is to detect objects, measure their coordinates and speed at a long ranges. In addition, the radar must uh, function stably in the presence of uh, interference uh, of various origins. A uh, recent trends uh, in radar is aimed at the use of uh, broadband signals, uh, which is due to uh, the need to increase the resolution of the radar to resolve uh, targets in range and speed. Uh, when a broadband signal arrives at the antenna array, we cannot neglect the chance in uh, uh, complex signal envelope at uh, different elements of the antenna array. Uh, with the expansion of the signal frequency band, um, the existing approach becomes, uh, uh, become ineffective and uh, we propose to develop the theory of uh, uh, multidimensional signals where uh, multidimensional signals and their special temporal uh, radio reception. Uh, if a flat antenna race is used, um, uh, then uh, to a dimensional coordinate system is used to describe uh, uh, its uh, geometry uh, and the signal and noise become function of three independent variables, uh, time variables and uh, two special variables. Uh, when the signal re uh, reaches the flat antenna array at each element, the waveform uh, is shaped according to the expression shown uh, where tau is um, the time delay uh, between i and uh, j elements of uh, flat antenna array. Uh, it's necessary to determine this time delay. Uh, the slide shows the geometric parameters of the target in the coordinate system of the antenna array, uh, where point A indicates uh, the position of the target. Uh, the position of the target can be described using um, 
uh, direction cosines, uh, where the vector i, vectors i, j, and k are unit vectors of the coordinate x, x, y, and z, uh, respectively, and then uh, theta z, uh, theta uh, y, and theta x uh, are the angles of a deviation of the target vector from the coordinate axis uh, defining the direction to the target. In addition, the position of the target in space can be described uh, using the angular coordinates of the target that is uh, uh, azimuth alpha and uh, uh, elevation angel beta. Uh, the slide shows the formation of the path uh, uh, difference of the ray uh, along which the signals propagate from the target. Uh, the wave uh, from the wave front is flat, uh, so the rays entering at any two elements of the antenna array are parallel. Uh, determine this delay. Uh, when uh, uh, passing to continuous coordinates, we can uh, represent the signal according to the upper equation uh, to the uh, in continuous form according uh, to the expression below. Uh, where chi y and chi z is uh, are transformation radius uh, depending on the direction of uh, arrival uh, of the target. Um, the three-dimensional spectrum of uh, signals is found uh, using uh, the three-dimensional Fourier transform. Uh, cardinal sign multiplies from uh, form a non-zero band uh, in the frequency plane along a uh, straight line, uh, uh, this straight line. Um, uh, the width of which is determined by antenna size, uh, y maximum and z maximum. Uh, and position on the plane is determined by the angels of arrival of the target, uh, that is azimuth and uh, elevation angel. Uh, since it's impossible to depict the spectrum, we will depict the possible uh, section of uh, three-dimensional amplitude spectrum formed on a flat antenna array. Uh, the slide shows the amplitude spatial temporal uh, spectrum of signals uh, arriving at the antenna array from different direction in the plane of special frequencies at fixed value of the temporal frequency, uh, which corresponds to the uh, carrier frequency of uh, 3 gigahertz. Uh, then uh, we fixed uh, one uh, of special coordinates and uh, uh, let's fix the second special coordinates. Uh, it can be seen, uh, you, you can be see uh, that uh, position depends on the angle of arrival, uh, the target which uh, in consistent with theory. Uh, in conclusion, I can say that in my work, uh, uh, the considered representation of the signal arriving in the flat antenna array uh, as a multi-dimensional signal uh, in spectral domains make it possible to simplify uh, signal processing based on the ratio of the probability distribution uh, when testing statistical hypothesis. Uh, since uh, the sample of the signal spectrum uh, are independent. Thank you for attention and you're welcome to ask questions. Thank you for your presentation. Uh, do you have any questions? Okay. Okay. Uh, eight slide. Uh, it's nine. Oh, okay. Uh, the signal two and three has a, a side lobe, but the signal one uh, has no. Why it's? Uh, because we have uh, this equation for a three-dimensional Fourier transform for three-dimensional spectrum of the special temporal signal, and uh, we don't have shifting. So you want to say if I uh, 
направлю. А, if I direct uh, uh, antenna beam uh, correctly on the target, I will not have uh, any side lobes. It's, it's uh, not diagram, uh, directivity diagram. This is spectrum, special temporal spectrum. Uh, and I'll if uh, the signal uh, signal, uh, <laughs> if the signal uh, direct uh, to the uh, par 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 right to the in the antenna with the uh, uh, angels zero angels azimuth and uh, 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 and elevation uh, we don't uh, has uh, shifting in uh, spectrum we have uh, uh, No. Uh, low, uh, low diameter. Uh, uh, oh, we have uh, a spectrum with low diameter. But if uh, we will see formula uh, in this, not in this slide, but in some other. Uh, oh, the omega is. Uh, uh, not frequency, it's uh, direction on the uh, reflector. It's uh, U. Uh, it's uh, special uh, frequency. This in, uh, spe special frequency. Is U is a uh, uh, radiation pattern. If you uh, take a book by the antenna, the radiation pattern uh, calculates by this formula. It's radiation pattern. Where the side lobes in this radiation pattern? Even you give, say? even even you give a, a, a rectangle window, uh, window uh, even this uh, will be side lobes. Uh, why we? Uh have a beam, this. Uh, let's uh, speak about after conference. Okay, the next question. Uh, ninth slide. Next. 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 Oh, okay. Uh, signal two and three have a side lobes in two dimension. Okay? Mm. And the next slide. This all signals have side lobes only in one dimension. Uh, we have shifting uh, of uh, this uh, signal peaks, uh, spectrum peaks uh, uh, that uh, correspond of the angels. Okay. <laughs> okay, where is the side lobes? Why in the previous slide they are, but uh, in this slide? Because Zeno. it's uh, 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 different uh, section of the three-dimensional signals. Because in uh, uh, we have uh, uh, three frequencies, uh, temporal frequencies and uh, two special frequencies. Uh, and uh, uh, the resolution of the uh, special frequencies is low. And... Uh, What's the difference before, uh, besides the slide number nine and slide number ten or eight? It's a different section of the three-dimensional spectrum. This is a plane of uh, uh, frequency, temporal frequency, and special frequency. Oh, okay, okay. I understand. 
And the last question is next slide. Next. Next. Oh, okay. Uh, Daria Zima and Daria Sokolova, why you write it different? <laughs> Uh, in documents, we have uh, this uh, name. Okay, thank you. So, thank you for your report, thank you. and thank you for your answers. The, of the uh, report, uh, full-scale experiment on monostatic radar sounding of the non-reciprocal object. The goal of this report is to attract the attention of developers of radar service system to the possibility of using non-reciprocal backscattering effect of electromagnetic field in solving applied problems, such as um, detecting NML zones of the probed space, as well as in the task of navigation by passive beacons. In this case, non-reciprocal properties are displayed in the uh, symmetry relation of the backscattering matrix of the sounding objects. Uh, for all uh, uh, reciprocal objects, the backscattering matrix is symmetric. Mm. From a mathematics point of view, any backscattering matrix can be decomposed by a system of power matrix supplemented by a unit matrix. The first three uh, terms of the decomposite, decomposition form a symmetric matrix and the fourth term uh, of the decomposition describes the asymmetric part. For all uh, reciproc reciprocal objects, the asymmetric part is uh, zero. Until recently, the extensions of an asymmetric part was not justified, justified by the others of the last works, uh, theoretically and experimentally in laboratory condition, the extensions of an object was um, Backscattering matrix is described by an anti-symmetric operator was established. Such as an object has unique properties, all possible polarization of the electromagnetic field are zero for it, which means the in all bases of the backscattering matrix resp representation, re representation of the such on object has the form of anti-symmetric operator. Uh, when a wave of any polarization fall on such an object, on a orthogonal polarization wave is reflected back. To verify the result of the last work is real condition of observation of radar object models of a partially non-reciprocal reflector and a signal position coherent radar uh, respectively we created. The complex backscattered matrix of the reflector was measured when, when it was placed against the background of the underlying surface nature original. Uh, the slide shows a uh, block diagrams of the layout of a single position coherent uh, tran transmitter e of the magnetron, uh, inline polarization, uh, signal is emitted into space, the plane of polarization of which change by 90 degrees from pulse, uh, pulse uh, to pulse. Uh, next, uh, full precision reception of the reflected signal and coherent processing of the orthogonal component is carried out. At the same time, for each range gate, four complex backscattered matrix reading are formed and records. Uh, this slide shows the main characteristic of coherent radar layout. Uh, a parabolic mirror antenna is used as a partial non-reciprocal reflectance. The feeder 
of which is made in the form of a circle waveguard. To input special non-reciprocal backscattering properties, the fit feeder of the reflector antenna is connected to the short circuit. The regular of current flow through the solenoid all the way to reach the degree of magnetization of ferrite at which the rotation of the polarization plane of a line of polarized wave passing the ferret in on direction. It's uh, this value of magnetis magnetization that absolutely non-reciprocal properties of the backscattering of the ferret section are uh, achieved. Uh, this exper the experiment uh, was conducted on the bank of the river. The model of uh, partial non-removable uh, reciprocal object is located at a distance of 6 kilometers from the radar set station on the underlying surface of, of nature region, grass, shrub. At the first stage, the ferrite section was removed. Uh, and the fit feeder of the reflector antenna was shorted. At the second stage, a section with ferret was installed in the solenoid current and the backscattered matrix of the combined object background plus reflector was recorded. At the third stage, in order to demonstration the reciprocally uh, properties of backscattering back the matrix Doppler spectrum of reflection from the water surface was mature. Uh, this graph shows the result of mature of the backscattering modules and the further different uh, of the non-diagonal backscattering matrix elements obtained at the first stage. As expected, since the background and the reflector have uh, reciprocal scattering properties, or the non-diagonal elements uh, as SVH and SHV of the backscattering matrix are equal, um, since the module, uh, modules and phaser are uh, equal to. Uh, this graph shows the result, result uh, of a measurement of the backscattering modules, uh, matrix modules, and the phase difference of the non diagonal backscattering matrix element obtained at the second stage, as expected, since the reflector at current has non reciprocal. Uh, properties the ag aggregate object background reflector has partially non reciprocal uh, properties which is reflected in the inequality of modules uh, HV, e, VH, and uh, uh, which is reflect uh, <coughs> is inequality of modules and further of non diagonal elements. CVH and HV. The figure shows the matrix Doppler spectrum of the signal reflected from the water surface obtained during testing and calibration of the coherent radar layout. The absolute identity of the VH and HV spectrum is not whether which confirms the reciprocity of the properties of backscattering by the water surface for which the Backscattered matrix is symmetric. The obtained research result can be used uh, to solve the problem of navigation by passive beacons, beacons that stand out well against the background of the uh, underlying surface as well as to detect electric storm zone in weather formation that uh, ex extremely dangerous for the flight of aircraft. Also, 
Addition studies will help in the search for animals backscattering zone with non-reciprocal properties. Thank you for your attention. Thank you for your report. Do you have any questions? Сначала можно там. Ну, даже нет, вот я не запомнила но предыдущее, где эксперимент, эксперимент вот это. Да. Скажите, пожалуйста, вы реально проводили эксперименты или это для модели, расчеты какие-то? Вот что это? Yes, reality. Did, uh, did you really did you do this experiment or it's only for the model? Yes, reality experiment. On the, uh, yes, it's real experiment. Very cool. Аж на любой один метр из каких соображений выбран? Why you choose H zero, like one meter? Проводится анализ или что? Это на основании чего? Was there any analysis? No, but is three meters, four, four meters. No, but Trinoga, Trinoga, not not is. They have only these opportunities. Is there any connection with the result? Is graph is not. Uh, liner. Uh, it's not a line. Interpretation yes. uh, of the ground. Do you have any more questions? N no questions. Okay. Thank you for your report. Thank you. Vladislav Vladislav. I am a student of Tomsk. Tomsk State University of Control Systems and uh, Radio Electronics uh, and topic of my presentation experimental stand uh, to determine uh, the scattering matrix of the studied objects in uh, the impact of radio frequency pulses. Uh, <coughs> measurement of uh, parameters uh, Characterizing uh, the non uh, reciprocity of reflected waves from uh, various objects uh, has been uh, considered in many publications. In this case, uh, to study the microwave parameters of backscattering, they uh, resort uh, to rather uh, um, complex measurements in echonic uh, chambers uh, using vector circuit analyzers uh, and other equipment. Uh, we set the task of creating the uh, installation uh, for the study of uh, partially non-reciprocal uh, uh, backscattering under the influence uh, of short radio frequency pulses in the laboratory. Um, one of the definitions uh, of the non-reciprocity uh, of uh, scattering matrix is based on a um, uh, comparison uh, of the amplitudes and uh, uh, amplitudes of reflected uh, signals obtained by um, radiation and reflection of a wave uh, which different uh, polarization. Uh, let us denote the vertical polarization uh, by V and the horizontal uh, one by H. Uh, in uh, papers four and five, the backscattering matrix uh, is uh, determined uh, when the polarization of the radiated wave uh, changes form H to V. In this case, uh, the received signal in the form, um, in the form of a uh, reflected wave is divided by a polarization, uh, polarizing uh, selection device uh, into components H and V. As a result, the backscattering matrix uh, takes the following form. Uh, where the inequality um, 
uh, all the coefficients SVH and uh, SHV uh, is a measure of uh, non-reciprocity uh, of the basis of polarization. Um, <clears throat> This slide shows a diagram of the measuring stand. Uh, the main parts of the device uh, which, uh, with which uh, the measurements were made are a radar uh, and a microcontroller. Uh, <clears throat> from the output uh, of the radar, uh, the generated pulse uh, in turn the radiating antenna uh, A1 uh, uh, directed to the um, measurement object, uh, which they attached to a system consisting of two round plates, uh, metal and dielectric, uh, with a stepper motor uh, routing uh, this disk and the measurement object at a um, certain angle. Uh, the pulse reflected uh, from object um, of measurements uh, is fit to the receiving antenna A2, uh, then the signal uh, is decomposited by a polarization separator into two components, uh, vertical and horizontal. Uh, to switch between the channel of the polarization separ uh, separator, uh, a high frequency switch is used. Um, then the signal uh, is amplified uh, by a low noise amplifier, uh, and in turn the radar input. Um, uh, uh, one minute. Slide. You have only one minute to finish your uh, okay, presentation. Uh, uh, this slide shows uh, um, appearance of measuring stand, uh, and uh, this uh, and figure three uh, showed appearance of the measuring device and uh, <coughs> technical characteristic of the radar transceiver. Um, just. <clears throat> the stand was calibrated, um, the purpose of which was the determined the measurement year of the backstaging matrix which for a rotating disk should meet the conditions and much as possible is HH uh, should be equal to SVV. Um, S HV should be equal to SVH and equal to zero. The measurements were carried out while turning the disk uh, from uh, zero to 180 degrees. Uh, this slide show um, results uh, of calibrations. Um, this uh, this value uh, a Average uh, uh, average uh, amplitude uh, to uh, to HH mode. Uh, uh, this value uh, maximum deviation from average value uh, to HH mode, uh, and uh, this value uh, showed uh, average value to uh, modes and. Uh, two mod uh, HV and uh, VH, uh, and uh, this value uh, maximum deviation from average value uh, two mod uh, HV and VH. Mm -hmm. uh, research object. Uh, research object uh, is a fluid bar uh, size uh, showed here. Uh, uh, measurement results. Uh, uh, the slide shows the result of measurements uh, of a free rod. Its uh, magnetization was carried uh, out by small neodym uh, magnets. Uh, as you can see, the amplitude of the signal obtained uh, with cross polarization is different. A backstation matrix uh, was built, uh, and the result of the stand calibration were taken into the constructing the matrix. <clears throat> For the resultant matrix, the Non <coughs> reciprocity coefficient was calculated, um, uh, which is 0 0.089. Um, 
Applying the Fourier transform of the resulting matrix, uh, transmission was uh, made from the uh, time domain to the frequency domain, which made it possible to calculate the value of the non-reciprocity uh, <coughs> angel, uh, which is 5.0. Uh, uh, three and the value of the different coefficient between the absolute uh, phases of the symmetric and anti-symmetric parts uh, of the scattering matrix is equal um, 20.6 degrees. Uh, conclusion, uh, the present instant allowed to emit, receive, uh, digitize, and uh, record responses from the analyzed objects when studying parameters of various materials and physical models of different media in the mode of reflection of electromagnetic waves or radio pulse with duration uh, from 1.75 uh, uh, from 3.1 uh, uh, nanosecond and variable filling frequency for from uh, 5.3 uh, uh, gigahertz uh, to 8.8 uh, gigahertz. Uh, the obtained data the, in the form of voltage time uh, dependence makes it possible uh, to construct uh, and analyze the scattering matrices in laboratory conditions uh, with the subsequent uh, processing of recorded signals. Uh, thank you for your. Uh, thank you for your report. Do you have any questions? I think we have no questions or. I don't know. <laughs> it's your decision. We have no question. Thank you for your report. What is NSTU? Novosibirsk State Technical University is one of the largest technical universities in Russia, located in the very heart of the vast Siberian region. It might be called a city within a city, not only because of its size and infrastructure, but the special rhythm of life influencing emotions of thousands. NSTU guarantees advanced education, offers a vast variety of programs, and is proud of its highly qualified faculty. It provides stimulating ground for the students to acquire knowledge, develop skills, and understand the beauty of the world in its diversity and multiplicity. NSTU is innovative and research-oriented. It is a place where breakthrough discoveries are made to contribute to intellectually challenging fields of study and world-class scientific projects. NSTU enjoys freedom of creativity and thought. It offers both students and staff the opportunity to express themselves, to maximize their talents and give way to imagination. It allows them to get surprised and surprise the world, broadening horizons and seeing new things in what seemed only common and ordinary. NSTU is born to be a winner. Its faculty does their best to educate high achievers who understand that soaring to new heights involves strategizing and hard work. The desire to win is the first step on the way to success. NSTU is your career. It offers new contacts leading to lifelong friendship, positive emotions, and love. It fills your life with meaning and gives unforgettable experiences. NSTU is people. NSTU is you.